Uh, <laughs> oh, Wait, Mono, do you have a greeting? Uh, uh I, I guess I don't. <laughs> okay. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, and hi, I guess. Hi. Oh. No, but thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, Raiders. I'm so sorry. I uh had an emergency and I'm gonna be popped in some Pepto right now. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, as uh, we we coined this term last time, but oh, what do you think? Wait, Mona, what are your thoughts mm. on uh, Pepto Bismol? On the taste of Pepto Bismol? I don't like it. You don't like I'm, it. I can't handle Pepto or like Tums. Really? Yeah, and I know people that like love them. Like I know people that like eat Tums like candy. <laughs> I can't. I, I would definitely can't. not do that. I'd rather like deal with the tummy hurt. Really? That bad? Then have, yeah, then have Pepto. I really don't like it. It's, I don't know. The text is really nasty to me. I mean, you know, hey, it is pretty nasty, but I kind of like the 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 chalky texture. Like Smarties. Do you like Smarties? What are your thoughts on Smarties? Mm, yeah, I don't, I don't really like them as much. I do. Okay, lately I, I am kind of into the chewable like vitamin C bell tablets. Oh. But I think it's because they're very orangey flavor. I think if they, they are very have tart. That tart flavor, mm -hmm, then mm -hmm. not. very sour. No, I, I like... think that's what makes it bearable for me. Mm. No, I like uh, the chalky, <laughs> the chalky. Or like, have you had those Japanese candies, that are like soda candies, but they're kind of chalky too. They're kind of like smarty. Yeah, I can kind of handle those. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm gonna I'm be a real. It's fan. been a long time since I've had a Tom, so maybe maybe I can handle it now. Tums, okay. Tums have gotten better, I feel like. I feel like old Tums were pretty nasty, but I feel like I've seen newer Tums that are like smoothie flavored. Have you seen those? Smoothie Tums? Mm, I've seen them, but I never. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're pretty good. On honestly, I don't think they're bad at all. But also, can we get a volume check really quick while we're t chatting? Ah, blah, 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 blah. It sounds okay. Volume's fine. Also, um,. BGM's a little loud? Okay, wait. Mono's a bit low, okay. Ah, uh, ba ba. How's that? Is that a little bit better? Hi. Hi. Is Hello? my volume any better? Higher? Sounds good. <clears throat> Sounds fine. Okay, cool. Um, this is... So this is our first time having you on stream, Mono. Would you like to introduce yourself? Cool. Yeah, hi! I am Mona Monet of Before Me Die, second generation Petalai! Woo! Um, um, this is my very first collab outside of my gen mates because I'm very shy. And and actually, uh, one time uh, before I ever watched the Leora stream, she showed up in my dream. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me! <laughs> No joke. One time, I, I woke up and, and I woke up. I was like, "Wait a minute!" Like, because I had only seen you back then in, like, one of the music videos that you did with your gen mates. Oh, and like I remember the thinking, video? like, "Wow, she looks so cool." Aww. <laughs> and you showed up in my dream, and I think in my dream, I just like sat next to you, like Aww. very nervous. I was like, "Wow, she looks so cool and pretty." <laughs> Aw, that's so sweet. <laughs> Wait, that's so freaking crazy, though. <laughs> and I had never seen any of your streams at that point, so that's oh. why I was like, alright, I should go. I should go check her out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually, that's actually hilarious. Yeah, prophetic. Oh, sorry. Wait, when did the cat get in here? Give me a second. I need to kick the cat out. One second. <laughs> I kicked him out earlier. I guess he snuck his way in when I when I ran out. I so. Yeah, he wants to be a part of it. <laughs> but for any um, Tabe Monos or for any Novakin that are sh uh, showing up and they don't know who I am, uh, I am Leo Ha. My name is Leo Valkyria from VNU's first generation Symphoria. I'm super say so and young, and that's all you need to know about me. Yeah. Mona, Mona, don't make that face! <laughs> <laughs> every, okay, so every time I say that, 
that to like a new person i i have to like be careful because i've had people take it at face value like people will be like oh you're like really safe so i'm like no 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 <laughs> 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 like oh yeah yeah, yeah. like I, but i'm afraid though like normally i'd be like yes but i'm afraid that if i set the wrong expectation and i say something completely horrible they'll just take me <laughs> they'll, they'll be just like taken aback too too far back you know so i'm a little oh, little hesitant really i i guess i didn't know you very well <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, you know, sometimes say the most cursed stuff. But you know, okay, wait, 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 wait. I will say, Mono, I also watched a couple of your streams and I oh. watched your, your cover as well. <laughs> and one of the things was like, I was like, oh my god, Mono and I are going to be like, good friends because you also like Eurobeat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. And then like, I remember seeing your uh, showcase, I think. Or maybe it was just one of your 3D streams where you did the the Eurobeat and you did the para para. Yeah, that was the 3D showcase. Oh my god, that's so amazing. The car did, on the roof. Yeah. Did you ever did you ever play Para Para Paradise? Yeah, when I went to ALA <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, to do the concert that we did with Before Me Night, they had oh. one in the arcade, and it was so sad. It was like the most abandoned machine <laughs> in the entire arcade. Nobody no. was playing it. How Nobody dare they? knew how to play it, and it's like I played one round on like easy because I never played it. Oh, uh, cause, like the machines are kind of rare to find. Yeah, I have I have it at home. <laughs> oh my gosh, do you have like an actual cab or do you have like the no, like not the, the cab, but it's like one. it's like the home version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, oh, I mm -hmm. want it. Yeah, I have that. So I I really want to get it to I play on stream maybe you know. Yeah. But oh the God. issue is that uh. My Japanese PS2 and PS2s are region locked, but my Japanese yeah. PS2 is like not working. The laser reader is like broken. So anyway, that's a whole story. So eventually, when I get it fixed, I can I can play it. But no, I freaking love Para Para, and I also love uh, Eurobeat. What is your like favorite like number one Eurobeat song? You would say? Like, it's sad because every time I've used it in a DJ set, it gets my stream like taken down immediately. <laughs> This song called Abracadabra, and it starts with like, oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Open Sesame! <laughs> it's so fucking goiky! <laughs> okay, but that's like every, that's like every Eurobeat song ever. <laughs> like, I really love that one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's funny though, because my favorite is actually, uh, kind of similar. Mine's called One Night in Arabia. Do you know that yeah, one? Yeah, I think I've heard that one. Yeah, yeah, that one's my favorite one. But it's just like funny because it has a really similar theme for whatever reason. And then aside from that, maybe um, I liked King and Queen. King and Queen. I don't think I know I don't that. I remember one. who it's by. Hmm. I just have a bunch of like I don't know. Sometimes I just put it on. And I don't even look at anything, but no, Abracadabra is the one that like stands out to me. Yeah. So funny. Uh, my favorite version of Night of Fire is the one where the guy in Hinoi team is just screaming the entire time yeah. in the back. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like he's That's not the even singing. That's what I was supposed to do for my cover. Oh. Uh, and they were like, oh yeah, you know, like do the do the chants. Yeah, the and when I tried oi. doing it, I was like, yeah, the oi! <laughs> but I couldn't, I just couldn't match that energy. I was like, I cannot match this legend. It's true. It is, it is a, it's a, it's a high hurdle to live up to. So I don't blame yeah, you. It's, yeah. But it's so good. And the music mm -hmm. video with his little, like, slutty little outfit. <laughs> and <he's coming> out. <laughs> literally in a speedo with like He's with like tassels like cowboy <laughs> like oh, like blinged oh. out cowboy tassels <laughs> yeah what's this, what is this outfit it's like hold on it's hold on does my pen does work it's like He's got his like sick like hair you know his like long, <laughs> his luscious locks hair. yeah and he I'm trying to draw this from memory. He's got his like big tummy out. With his he does. Belly he does. Out, he does. And his little slutty little speedo and like little <laughs> boots. He so literally good. has like a crop top and he has like the the cowboy yeah. boots. <laughs> <laughs> and, like 
a little cape or something? Yeah, 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 I think he does have a cape. (laughs) (laughs) No, we're talking about the Night Night of Fire music video. If you guys are not familiar, you can look up Night of Fire by Hinoi Team. (laughs) So good. It's such a peak, like, video of its time. It's a cultural heritage. It it, it truly is. (laughs) I feel like... (laughs) That, that, t- like, Gyaru and, like, para para fashion and dancing, all of it was just, like, actually crazy. Also, Yai, thank you so much for the raid! Hi, Yai! Welcome, raiders! Welcome, Yai. I hope you guys had a good stream. <laughs> We're talking about para para <laughs> 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 The olden times. The, the before times, you know? Oh, man. I like watching the old tapes of like how to para para and stuff like that too. There's some really good ones on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the really old ones. Yeah. I forget which music video it was. I think it was an. I feel like I want to say it's another Hinoi team one. It's like the one that's like in the school hallway. Have you seen that one? Oh, that one's I such a good one so. too. That was a really good one. Oh, let me uh, mod you, Yai. Give me a second. Welcome, welcome. I hope you had a good stream. I hope Mono's behaving. <laughs> um, I, don't, I think she's the she's the last of your worries. <laughs> Actually, I think like the amount of you know cursed energy like that we well, I I think my cursed energy is uh, uh probably worse, but. I think you drawing the Hinoi team guy is pretty cursed. So uh, our energy's matched, I, I would say. <laughs> well, you know, actually, what other Pada song I like that I just remembered? Hmm. Do you know the song called Bitch is a Bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know the song Bitch is a Bitch. <laughs> I gotta send it to you, I, You have to. You must. You, you must. With a name like that, I must hear it. <laughs> that song taught you so much about life. You know what? One of my other favorite Para Para songs, uh, slash, you know, Eurobeat songs, is called My Sweet Banana. So, you know. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I, that must be like a euphemism. There's no way that it's not an innuendo. <laughs> the entire song is just my sweet, my sweet banana. And then there's a guy, a girl in the background. She goes banana. <laughs> <laughs> and the best part about all of these Eurobeat songs is they're like completely in English, but like just like you know silly English. Right? There was one more from one of the Beat Mania games. It's called uh-huh. She Is My Wife. And I'm like, <laughs> is this instrumental? And they're going really hard and they're uh-huh. doing like their para. And it's just like, oh, oh she is my wife. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> that's I love it. Song. I love it. Well, like, I feel like all Eurobeat songs. It was funny. One time I was on karaoke and I talk a lot about how much I like Eurobeat. So my chat was like, oh, you should sing like Night of Fire or something. Or like, gas, gas, gas. I was like, um, you do realize it's just one lyric <laughs> over and over again for like five whole minutes. <laughs> it's all about the vibes, baby. I was like, I, I don't want to sing one, one lyric for five minutes straight. <laughs> like as much as I want to do that, like I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Man, but the outfits is going on YouTube again and looking these outfits are so good for some <laughs> The Hinoi team, are you looking at them right now? I I had I had bitches a bitch pulled up. <laughs> bitches a- <laughs> <laughs> So good. So ah, Eurobeat was a time. So did you play or did you watch Initial D much growing up? I didn't watch Initial D until like maybe last year. Oh wow, really recently. Yeah, really recently actually. Uh, I, I don't know, I wasn't really like drawn to it until like recently. I mean, but it's, it's like old. I saw it all the time. Yeah. Right. Um, and I had like, you know, played some of the games in arcades. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, when you go to like an arcade, they have like the Initial D tabs and stuff. But right. 
I wanted to actually watch it. And, like, I watched it and it was, like, immediately I was like, oh, actually, this fucking rules. Yeah. <laughs> Initially, so incredible. good. It really is really good. I think there was another movie, like, last year, right? Or something. Like, a recent uh, one. There was the new series, MF Goes. Oh, the, the, the Nissan series? Yeah, but, like... I haven't, I haven't really gotten into MF Ghost because they look kind of like, like shoujo fight. I don't know how to explain. A little bit, yeah. The style looks a little, a little different. Yeah, I, I mean, is it by the, it's not by the same people though, is it? It's by the same, like by the same mangaka. I don't oh, know really? Same, like animation studio, but yeah, it's the same guy. Oh, I guess he just his art style has just evolved a bit yeah. over time. Mm. It's in the same universe. Oh, I see. I didn't know that. Hmm. I see. I see. All right, well, before we start chatting forever, shall we start drawing and we can draw, we can yeah. chat while we're drawing. Do you want to do like a, we could do like a piece where it's us two and then we draw each other or something. Yeah. We do something like that. We can go from there. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to wait five minutes for people to chat. I'm so sorry. It's, I don't know if subscriber chat is on. It might be with all the, uh, shorts stuff sometimes uh that stuff's on so i do apologize if you were waiting if you were in jail a yeah, little bit yeah um we're both going to be drawing i have not drawn in a hot second so uh you're gonna have to forgive me let's see what what something brushes we got here. here i like using like the pencil tool and like with like a low opacity Oh, pencil like tool. Sure. Thin graphite. Soft that pencil. Nice too. Sketchy round. Oh, I like sketchy round. Alright. Maybe we could do like a... Um... <laughs> he knows deep out there. <laughs> what are they what are they wearing in that? Well, let me see, let me see. They've got like the little bandana tops with oh, like the a bandana white skin tops. Thing. Yeah. Oh, just kidding. No, they're a little different. Oh, they're like wearing uh, bikinis? Oh no, they're wearing like a <laughs> God, the outfits are just so goofy. They're wearing Dude, I bikinis. I forgot about the one. flames on the guy's little thong. <laughs> on his thong, yeah. It's like oh right gosh. at his, like right at the bottom too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we could do like a uh, cowboy boots. This is like the shittiest screenshot ever because it's from an older time, but maybe something inspired by this. Yeah! Alright, alright, I'm down. Oh my gosh. We could do like a. Here. Maybe something like. I'll, I'll put you here around. Okay. Are you gonna draw me and I draw you? Yeah, I think that'd be funny. What's your. What's like your art. art journey? My art journey? Yeah, like tell me about your art journey. Um, I used to go on Neopets, and oh, I wanted to <coughs> have my Neopets have cool, like, OC designs. Oh! Uh, like, like a Jinkified? Kinda! I just wanted to draw cool markings on them. Oh! Because uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> I wasn't cool Like an original to, like, paintbrush. Kinda, yeah, because I wasn't cool enough to actually get my hands on any actual paintbrushes, because I wasn't that good at it. Right. Paintbrushes were freaking expensive. Yeah, and I, I was a dumb little kid. I didn't know how to get that stuff. Yeah, uh, true. So I just, like, drew designs for them instead. Mm. Um, and then... Uh, well, before that, actually, I, I would, like, draw Powerpuff Girls and Hamtaro. <laughs> oh my god, hell yeah. <laughs> Who was your favorite Powerpuff Girl? Important question. Me too! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah. I also yeah. love- Okay, so who's your favorite Hamtaro then? Also important question. I like... What was her name? What was... 
the name of the, the one with the blanket? Was it Penelope? Oh, uh, Pashmina? Maybe? Pashmina, maybe? Wait, Penelope is the one that has a blanket on her head, the, the yeah, yellow yeah, one. Yeah, 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 like yeah. The, um, oh my god, did you ever play the Game Boy Advance game? <gasps> Ham Ham Heartbreak? Yeah, dude! Hell that, yeah! That was my shit. That oh. was also my shit. I still have the cartridge for that, too. Me too! <laughs> Hell yeah. Hammer Heartbreak was actually a good game though. I think I saw it's like some like so weird dissection of like why it was like a really good game. Like the, apparently like the the people who worked on it or something were just like legitimate, like very legit. It was like a whole ass legit team or something. Right? I don't know. Yeah. I tell people all the time like I'm Taro Hammer I'm Heartbreak. Like you don't expect it to be that good, but it is. You know, I was actually... <laughs> so I have my Game Boy Advance still. Unfortunately, I don't have my SP, which I really wish I did. But I've been, like, considering buying, like... Because it's missing the battery pack uh, casing. So I was thinking about just buying that battery pack casing to play, like, old uh, Game Boy Advance games, you know? Yeah! You gotta Retro. get the whole, like... The handle with the battery pack, and then you gotta get, like, the... <laughs> The I gotta get a little light. light. Yeah, yeah, the little light. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the, like, the thing that makes the screen, like, the magnifying glass for the screen. Yeah, <laughs> Ew, I hated screen. the magnifying glass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, no, that was that was the whole thing. Man, I, I remember, like, those were those were things that we, we needed to play, the freaking thing right. at night back then. Yeah. I consider... Have you seen those, like... Oh, like retro gaming console, and then it's like a some sort of like it looks like a Game Boy, but it can it's like a modern device, and it like plays old cartridges. Have you seen those? Mm -hmm. Those look really cool. I like considered maybe even picking one of those up. Some of them seem nice. Yeah. Yeah, they like seem really well made. You literally just bought one of them, really? <laughs> yeah, those are those look really cool. I wanna get a Game Boy printer. Oh my god, the Game Boy <laughs> printer! <laughs> I remember you had to go to like Blockbuster <laughs> to print your Pokemon Snap. Like, <laughs> do you remember that? <laughs> Holy shit, that was like a repressed memory. Like, what the? <laughs> it all came flooding back. What the heck? <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, I'm so bad because I always wanted one as a kid. Yeah, I never had one of those. Because those were expensive. I didn't even have like, uh, like a light for my advance. So it was like so nice when I got the SP because I was like, oh, I don't need, I don't like have to not be able to see anything anymore. Mm -hmm. I would use like a freaking flashlight. Ancient memories. Pokemon Yellow use a printer? Pokemon Yellow use a printer? What could you print from Pokemon? Maybe the Pokemon... I never had Pokemon Yellow. Mm. My first one was gold. Uh-huh. I see. Uh, my... my I'm old, so... <laughs> my first one was... Was blue. I had I wanted blue, but... Um, I grew up in Mexico, and a lot of games oh. in Mexico were, like, way more expensive. Oh, really? So I, I didn't get any games until old. And then even then, I had to share with my older sister. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I also grew up really, like, my parents didn't have a lot of money when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we also couldn't have, But they would buy me, like, a game every time I had, like, a long flight which was every like summer because they would send me mm -hmm. to my grandparents place and so that was whenever i got a new a new game oh drawing what is drawing <laughs> Looking at the uh, Night of Fire poses. <laughs> so you drew on Neopets, and then did you just end up like, is that where your digital art journey began, or 
Were you mostly just drawing on like paper and stuff at that time? It was mostly on paper, but yeah, it was um like digital and then I got really into digital art mm. doing Gaia online art. Oh my god, that was me too though. Like real. <laughs> Actually real. Cause it was like, you know <laughs> That's how that's how you made money because you had no yes, money otherwise. <laughs> Yeah, no, I I understand. That was me too. It, without Guy Online, I would have never, I would have never drawn like online. Yeah, because it was like, well, everything's expensive. I don't got money. Yeah. Time to <laughs> time to sell my art. Yeah, that was a real thing. And then, and that's how I started learning digital digital art and. Uh, in the beginning, in the very beginning of Gaia, I- <laughs> so embarrassing, but I actually used to draw with Sharpie on flashcards, and then I would take- I would scan it. <laughs> hey, it works! That's what Dude, I, I miss did. scanners. I kind of want a scanner. Yeah, a scanner? Just for, like, just for the feeling of it, you know? <laughs> it's not this- like, phones are too good now. <laughs> To like, to like get, to get that kind of grainy, yeah. yeah. Like phones no, are I too understand. high tech now, like the pictures they take are too good. I want like, I want a crusty little scanner. You know? I, I, I actually, wanna, like, uh, scan my notebook pictures. I have a, uh, I use analog cameras for that reason as well. Like old school film cameras. Ooh. Yeah. That was like a hobby that I had before I started streaming for a bit. And then. Photography? Yeah, I was just like messing around with film cameras and stuff, and then um, and I started streaming, and then all my money went into streaming. <laughs> such cases. Yeah, I think especially when you're like starting out, like streaming, it's really expensive because there's just a lot of things you gotta buy, and I'm not just talking about like equipment, but also like assets and stuff, right? So yeah, so like a lot of my money went went there in the very beginning covers and stuff all that's like all so expensive too so I was a little pirate kid so I <laughs> <laughs> Photoshop oh you yeah know, like back, back then. in the day we were we actually I was just talking to my chat about that like yesterday or the other day or so I was just like man those were the those were different times, and, and so I was m talking about like fire alpaca. Do you remember fire? Oh alpaca? my god! There's <laughs> <laughs> that name forever. I was like, yeah, back in my day, we had like fire alpaca. We had Psy. Oh, I know a lot of people that still use Psy. Yeah, it's very surprising. I think it's funny that like, in if you order a skeb, you can see what program they use. Oh really? I don't know why they tell you that information, but it's it's there. And a lot of them are still using Psy, which is like so surprising to me. Hey, they get comfy with it. Cause Psy is like abandonware now, right? It's, they're not updating it anymore. Yeah, from what I know, the developer was very sad that everyone just pirated the hell out of it. Oh, <laughs> it was like, I give yeah. up. Yeah, that'll, that'll happen. Sad because I think Psy was like the one software I actually paid for. Oh, I was really fortunate and in <laughs> this is crazy. In two thousand like ten, uh, Clip Paint Studio had just come out, and my friend was like, "You have to try it." And they were having a sale, and I think I bought it for oh, three dollars yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, three dollars. I can I can afford three dollars. And so I bought it, and I still use that license to this day. Yeah. My three dollars. But you get license. to update it and everything, right? Yeah. Mm. I think if I want like certain additional features, I have to pay for the subscription one now. But it's a lot yeah. of features that I don't use anyway, so. I mostly use Procreate on my iPad. Oh. That's what I draw the most with on my iPad. Oh, the iPad. I need to get like a different uh, like pen case. The Apple Pen cripples my uh, massive Yowie hands. My my Yowie hands can't handle <laughs> the thinness of the Apple Pen. Yeah, I've heard that from a lot of people. 
Like, I think it makes my hand contort in a certain way that, like, yeah. it just can't handle doing for long periods of time, so. I get though it's... It's my, my baby, but my poor iPad, like, falling apart now. Ooh, I have, um... I have a really old iPad, too, actually. Mine is from... 2018? I guess it's not that old. Well, but, like old. with iPads, you know how there's like a new one every year. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Like mine doesn't. Mine still has a button on it. <laughs> yeah, mine too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So mine have the same one. Oh, you know, the one nice. where like the freaking Apple Pen has to go into the charger yes, port on yes, the bottom and yes. it sticks out. So like a weapon. stupid. Yeah, and then oh you're afraid God. that you're gonna like hit it and like break your freaking iPad. Oh my God. And snap it off and yeah. Nope. Yeah, I have the same one. I'm pretty, I'm pretty tall. tall, but I can also move. I don't know how to move. Mm -hmm. I can move you lower, like this. Okay, how to draw a body. Yeah, how to draw anything. I also saw you talking about precious moments and how it ins <laughs> inspired your art style. Oh, that was so cute. <laughs> Like also, Uncle I saw Pops. you like Toho and Melty Blood, <laughs> which are yeah. which are two things that I like that I really rarely find other people that like. Really? Yeah. Oh, that was that was my childhood. Yeah. Toho and Melty Blood, and mm -hmm. I used to say I was like, oh yeah, type moon, but I never actually sat down and read Fate. Oh yeah, I, I I don't really know much about Type Moon stuff. Like, I know like the basics of Fate, but not anything beyond that. I really liked um, Carnival Phantasm growing up though. Yeah! Oh my god, that was so fun. It was so fun. And actually I feel like that's how I learned about a lot of Fate stuff. Um, and then prior to that, I was like a really big Prisma Ilya fan when it was like Oh manga yeah! Only. Yeah! I was really into... I think Melty Blood was like the big thing that I was into. I saw that. Me too! So <laughs> me all too! My friends, all my friends were really into it and oh, this wow. is really gonna age me. I was like, I was really into... Um, like my big community back then was like a... An IRC channel for Melty Blood. Oh my god, I was actually just talking about IRC the other, <laughs> like literally the other day. I was like, yep. Back in my day. <laughs> Back in my day, we didn't have pictures. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, we had IRC. It was, a, it was a time. It was a time. I want to go back sometime. I, I do not. <laughs> I'm grateful for technology. Uh, I'm nostalgic. You're nostalgic. You crave the... The IRC. Oh the man, I, I didn't, I didn't freaking know any. I was like already too. Like when I got into IRC, it was already pretty late. I feel like, and like so everyone who was already using IRC was like pretty established with it. I didn't know any of like the commands or anything. I had to like always like ask my friends like, um, how do I do this? <laughs> how do I pull this? I don't know any of them anymore, but it was fine. Yeah, it was a time. A different time. Who is your favorite in Toho? Chewie. Oh, that's a good one. You kind of look like her. Immediate answer. Yeah, yeah. I have a Ducky Makara for on my couch right now. <laughs> you have a Ducky Makara on <laughs> Pachola? I have two, but only one. I have the case on right now. <laughs> oh my god. That's actually, actually incredible. <laughs> Ironically, I, I, I one of my favorite Toho characters is Alice, so you know. Oh my god, yeah. We're, we're like faded enemies. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay. Are you are you like do you did you ever ship anybody with Alice though? I mean, I liked the I liked the love triangle of Marissa, Alice, and Patchouli. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> smart. <I'm> so smart. <laughs> We 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 we're coming. We our brains are, you know, becoming one. Someone has a delude one. It does have a lewd side, and I had it back when I was in high school. And I would like go off to school and just like leave it like naked side up, and I would come home and my mom would put like my laundry on top of her, like a shirt on her. Oh, wait, that's so <laughs> funny because I had like a similar <laughs> experience because I also had a body pillow. Mine wasn't lewd though, but I had a Monica from Love Plus body pillow, and then I had these really large Supersonico bikini posters on my wall. Oh my god! <laughs> and so my parents, whenever we had guests, they would like close my door and not ever show anyone <laughs> my room like i was not allowed to open the door to my room if people were over <laughs> howard show them the super sonical <laughs> free her she deserves to be freed so i mean that was a it was a different time i've told i i was mentioning this to my friend the other day we were at like a mall and we're in the parking structure right and we're going down the parking structure and i was just like man there are a lot of weebs like i just see all these cars with like a bajillion yeah. like peeker stickers and stuff right and That's i was so just normal now. yeah and i was telling her i was like you know it's a good thing i didn't grow up like in this era because my car would be disgusting <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it'd Rolling be disgusting. Up with Itasha. Yeah. Oh, I love Itasha's too. Yeah, when I when I was when I was growing up on the uh bumper sticker, if you were like one of those people, you just had the uh <laughs> This is gonna sound horrible, but the two in the pink, one in the stink. Do you know what I'm talking <laughs> about? <laughs> Sticker I'm talking about, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's what that's what you had on your car. You didn't you didn't put anime on there. You. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> uh, that was a repressed memory. <laughs> the repressed memory. Hey, this is what the stream is. It's just all the repressed memories that are coming. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it was a it was a it was a different time. <laughs> I like how some people in chat know and some people are like, what the fuck are you saying? <laughs> if you know you know. <laughs> if you know you know. It's really one of those things that was it was normal. That was like a normal sticker to just have. Things are different like on your car like that was <laughs> i remember this but i'm still disappointed that was like the <laughs> it was kind of like the ricer sticker to have like if you were like <laughs> <laughs> if you were like into like street racing and stuff like that was what all the uh street racers had speaking of Eurobeat, some dude in your neighborhood still has one on his car dang <laughs> That's like an ancient artifact. <laughs> that's vintage now. That is vintage. That's, that's like retro, retro stuff now. <laughs> <laughs> peakers before peakers exist. Yeah, basically. You're symbols of team. No, we're talking about a time before Ruby existed. <laughs> <laughs> Way before. Way before. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, that's 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 what people had on their cars before. Back in my day, that's what people had on their cars. I saw a bumper sticker yesterday that was like, uh -huh. "How's my crying?" <laughs> <laughs> like, I need one of those. <laughs> well, that's kind of cute though. I like the ones that, that are like, um, "I'm sorry, I'm slow," like I'm depressed, or like so, like you know like <laughs> I'm trying my best, <laughs> stuff like that. Those are those are my favorites. I need to be one of those that like has all the all the initial D like racer logos. Mm-hmm. As decals, that's what I need. My uh <laughs> I'm I'm not gonna say which car it is, but because of initial D, one of my online usernames growing up was the name of a car. <laughs> <laughs> a little 
nerd. <laughs> Sometimes I still use that email for spam. And one time I was like <laughs> at a, at the mall with my friend, and I was like Sephora or something. And I and you know the lady's like, oh, what's your email? And I told her. And my friend looked at me, and he goes, <laughs> like the car. <laughs> oh my god! I was like, um, maybe. It was a different time. It was a different time. So respectful though. <laughs> I'm missing people's dorky emails like that. I know. Now everyone is just like so and so at so and so last name, you know. Yeah, first name, last name. Yeah. It's a lost art. <laughs> it is a lost art. Back then it was like everyone had the worst like kitty x x3 x oh my god you know my friend actually <laughs> i'm calling him out he watches my stream sometimes he's gonna be so upset he like <laughs> actually was playing valorant with like a girl whose name was actually just straight up <sighs> i don't even know how to like say the name without like actually just saying the name because it's just so ridiculous i'm gonna type it to you because it's just <laughs> so ridiculous i can't say it out loud but it was that was her name. I'm no cap. <laughs> no cap. <laughs> and I was like, so he like fell for like a, you know, like the e-girl fishing scam. Like he started like talking to her on Discord. <laughs> on Valorant. <laughs> because they were playing on Valorant. I was like, you fell for somebody named that? <laughs> like, like, come on. <laughs> That takes me back, man. That's like an MMO name. <laughs> that is like actually an MMO name. Needs to have like a couple X's in front of it. And yeah, like the lowercase, uppercase, X. So, uh, what MMOs did you play when you were growing up? Oh my god, I played all of them. So I would go down like the top 100 MMO list. Uh -huh. I just play whatever was free, but like the big one that I grew up with was Ragnarok Online. Oh hell yeah! That was my. That was my Did you play on list. private server? <laughs> yeah. Because <and laughs> you just said that you had to play them on free, so I was like, well, you you couldn't have been affording a, you couldn't have been affording <laughs> Ragnarok subscriptions. I bet. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I still play it, dude. I still have it installed. I you still, still play, play Ragnarok <laughs> Online? <laughs> Ma'am. <laughs> I think last time I logged in was a couple days ago. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 Mona, did you? You are also a Sonic enjoyer, right? You know, I've never, I've never, I've only played like Sonic Two, I think. Ah, it's fine. It's uh... fine. If you enjoy Sonic Two, you're a Sonic enjoyer. <laughs> did you see? There's a Sonic collab. Oh, um, some restaurant, right? No, like Ragnarok Online Sonic. Wait, you can, you can, what? you can. <laughs> Wait, let's hold on, hold on. I just need to send it to you. It's literally, you get, you get fucking quests from Sonic the fucking Hedgehog. What? And I no, was what? literally like, do okay. I need to start RO again? Like, oh, what the? Fuck? I'm not even joking. This is, this was this week. Yeah, this is like from three days ago. <laughs> You have to fight no. Dr. Eggman. Look at no these. Way. Look There's at the. Did you see the Eggman, Eggman pouring? pouring? Yeah, the Eggman pouring. <laughs> you, can have, you can have chaos ammo. What the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. Let me see. Here, here, here. Chat. Huh? Oh, I didn't know it would paste there, but here you can see here. <laughs> No fucking way! <laughs> yes way. And I Never literally was like, I I do I it. need to play Ragnarok again? I was literally thinking that, and I was like, but there's no, <laughs> there's no point because nobody plays RO. But now I know who to go to. <laughs> and now I know who to contact. <laughs> Holy In the year 2024, <laughs> RO is having a Sonic collab. Like, what the fuck is actually happening? What? I didn't even realize that, like, the official servers were still doing stuff. 
Yeah. And not at all that I expect there to be a <laughs> RO Sonic collab. Like that. It, yeah. I'm speechless. <laughs> this is insane. It's actually pretty. It actually is kind of cute though. Like it's actually it kind of good. Yeah. But if you had like just shown me this without like me seeing an article, I would have been like, oh, you're shitting me. This is like some Fan. custom private server stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> nope. It's a uh, hundred percent <laughs> on the vanilla server. It's pretty <laughs> crazy. In the year of our Lord 2024, we're getting a Sonic Ragnarok online collab. What? Yeah, I'm just that... showing that to all my friends. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> like, have you seen this? I saw that and I was like, what the heck is actually happening? What what universe am I living in right now? Oh my god. But, you know, it's a good it's a good time to get back into RO, I suppose. But I think it's still subscription based, the yeah. main server. Yeah. Which is crazy. I think there's like a free one or something like that. Oh, there is. Something. Huh. I wonder if it's just like you don't get like certain bonuses or like you get shit EXP or something. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like haven't really looked into like, I guess it's called like renewal Ragnarok online now. Oh. Because um, they changed a lot of stuff. Like a lot of mechanics got changed around. You know, mm -hmm. they're kind of trying to keep it fresh. Right, makes sense. The um, private server you're on, what kind of, like, is it just, like, classic? Yeah, it's, like, mm -hmm. it's just, like, meant to, like, replicate, like, the just, like, days. old stuff before anything <laughs> got, like, updated. It's my, it's my elder's home. <laughs> <laughs> it's your elder's home? That's your retirement home? <laughs> That's my retirement <laughs> home. <laughs> Like, like when, when old people level. go to bingo, we show up to yeah. Ragnarok. <laughs> I don't even level. I just like, I just sit in town. Uh -huh. And you re reminisce about the good old days? Yeah, that's what uh, you know, you know, I respect that. I respect that. <laughs> I respect it. I listened to that and then I really liked uh, Final Fantasy XI. Oh, XI? Yeah, I was really into Final Fantasy XI. I had a friend who was like really into Eleven, and I think only recently she just finally caved and just moved to uh, Fourteen. Uh, Fourteen is nice. I only played Fourteen One Point like before it got remade. Oh, like when it was bad still. Yeah, well, I liked it. I don't know, but well, you also <laughs> liked Eleven, which everyone yeah, says yeah, is basically. really bad. <laughs> like you know, everybody said Eleven was really bad, but I liked it. So, mm. yeah, I played, like, Final Fantasy XIV 1.0, and mm -hmm. then uh, once it got, like, remade, mm -hmm. I tried going back, and I was like, I don't, I don't get it. Like, I don't understand <laughs> anymore. So. Mono, Mono is, like, the real boomer. <laughs> 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 and I remember, like, I got, I got in trouble once as a teenager, and I got grounded, oh, and my mom uh -huh. sent me back to Mexico. Oh, my God. And so... <laughs> Okay, I... that's like really serious. That's not that's like not even normal <laughs> grounding. It's like a <laughs> not even like yeah, a, you stay like... in your room. You're not allowed out of your room. It's like you're going to Mexico. Goodbye. Yeah, she like sent me like back to Mexico to stay with my family for the summer. She was like, I'm done with your bullshit. Go oh back God. to Mexico for Holy the summer. Shit. Okay. So uh, I, I would just like I kidnapped one of the family laptops. And I would just stay up at like until like six in the morning, underage drinking wine <gasps> from the fridge, <laughs> and playing Final Fantasy XI until oh six in the morning. <laughs> no, no one, no wonder you were grounded. <laughs> no wonder your mom was done with your shit. Holy moly! <laughs> Truly, the I line. wasn't even like a crazy underage drinker, but it was like. You I were, like, like, just sipping a it. beer, like, playing Final Fantasy XI. Like, that's actually <laughs> hilarious. It was, like, some, like, shitty wine in the fridge, and oh I was like, God. hmm. Oh, my God. They won't God. know if a sip is gone. <laughs> and then it was like, oh, oops, I accidentally the whole bottle. Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't even like wine until recently. I feel like when I was younger, all I drank was, like, Four loco. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's like because it was like so sweet you know yeah oh my gosh you're gonna laugh at me mm -hmm. i was so nervous before mm -hmm. the collab started that i had a beer <laughs> excuse me <laughs> You need to like, you need to so like, it, it's like, it's like, you know, when like people at weddings, when they get like <laughs> cold feet, so they have to take a shot of whiskey. <laughs> is that, is that what you're... <laughs> a little bit. I was like, I'm kind of nervous. I got a beer in the fridge. It's fine. It's just wine. It'll be okay. Yeah, well, you've been, tr you've been training for a long time. <laughs> Oh my god. That's so funny. I wish I had alcohol and then I would have just drank with you, but I... It's not good. I cannot keep alcohol in my house for very long because I just drink it all so quickly. Fair. Yeah. What kind of beer did you have? Very important question. I had a Modelo. A Modelo? <laughs> I haven't had a Modelo in a while. Do you like Modelo? Um, normally I get like craft beers or like hard ciders but lately i've just been kind of a cheap basic bitch and no, i've just been that. getting like you know just like really cheap beer yeah uh, no I and i have that. a bunch of asahi super dries in the fridge but i feel I like if those... you can get asahis on sale they're pretty inexpensive too yeah they're not bad but i had yeah. a model in the fridge that like i had kind of like opened uh -huh. and i was like well i better i better drink this before it goes flat in the fridge was it flat? No, it was still good. Oh, really? Yeah, it was still good. Because it was like the bottle ones. Uh, so I put like the cap oh. on it. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Modelo time. Dang. Maybe I gotta try <laughs> Modelo again. I usually go for like a Stella when I'm buying stuff from the mm -hmm. supermarket. Like Stella is my go-to. It's like not too expensive. It's not as expensive as craft beer, but it's like really solid and never go wrong with it kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Sapporo is good. Kirin is good. Any of the Japanese beers are pretty, like, inoffensive, I would say. Do you- okay, what's your thoughts on IPA? They're fine. I like them. Yeah? I, I like it better if I have food, though. Mmm. I'm not an IPA fan, so... Always curious. It's all, it's all there is around here, so... Oh, like, that makes sense. I have to settle. Yeah. <laughs> Stella has a bad rep in the UK, really? Interesting. I didn't know that. I think it tastes fine. It's inoffensive. Yeah, I don't like the like hoppy, hoppy taste. Yeah, I me mean, neither, but sometimes, uh, sometimes it's gotta. <laughs> yeah, well. Sometimes it's all there is. It's true. And also, it is good with food, though. I agree. Yeah. With like, like fried food or something especially oh my gosh yeah what's your favorite like alcohol food beer food mm, you like a burger mm, burgers, or okay. my favorite thing when i would have a bad day at work mm -hmm. was i would go to this ramen place and get like karaage <gasps> and karaage a good. sapporo on draft <clears throat> mm -hmm. so Oh, sounds amazing. So good. And then I would have like two or three, like I would show up to this place by myself, have like two or three, and then like mm. basically like dance out the door. <laughs> if you oh like my stumbling God. like hee 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 hee. Oh my god. <laughs> we need to I need to go to where you are. <laughs> <laughs> we need to we need to we need to hang out and get some drinks. <laughs> sounds really good. I don't know, just like any anything like that, like just kind of like spicy food with beer. Yeah, hell like yeah. Spicy stuff. Ooh, spicy stuff. How's your spice tolerance? I think it's pretty good. Hmm. I haven't like I don't I haven't tried any like the crazy ghost pepper stuff that sure. people are into. Sure. Uh, but but I like spicy stuff. I like spicy stuff too. I like uh like the carbonara like fire noodles. Those are like my favorite. Ooh, mm. mm -hmm. So Oh my god, good. have you had those the the noodles that everybody has for the spicy noodle challenge? Yeah, but I like just eat those like normally. Right, they're not that cheap. <laughs> <laughs> like, I had them once and I was like, that's it. 
Yeah. I, I mean, they are spicy, like but... <laughs> yeah, but they're not, good. Not like... Yeah. I just... I, I That's like my midnight snack, usually. Midnight <laughs> snack of choice. Those are good. And for me, I... I always keep a... Like a jar, like a can of pickled jalapenos in my fridge. Oh! Those are... That's like my pickles. Like, people have, like, a jar of pickles in their fridge. I have, like, a big can of, like, pickled jalapenos. Wait, that's, like, that sounds good. Because usually oh I get God. those on the side for, with, like, other stuff anyway, mm -hmm. right? And I like those. I should do that. They're really good. And then they, like, some of... I like the ones that come with, like, a big, like, sliced carrots. Oh. Vinegar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those are really good. You can have them with everything. With, like, breakfast, yeah. a sandwich. Mm -hmm, My midnight mm -hmm. snack is, like, a quesadilla in the middle of the night. With those? That sounds good. Yes. You know what I really like? I love pupusas. Oh my god! Yes. And then it has that like kind of- <laughs> My parents call it because my mom's Korean so like she calls it Ecuadorian kimchi. <laughs> 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 With the Ecuadorian so kimchi cute. on top. Yeah, that's- I really like the Ecuadorian kimchi. That's- <laughs> <laughs> I really like like the, it's like the pickled vegetables essentially, right? So it's kind of yeah, the same yeah, thing that you're talking curtido. about. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I love that stuff. It's so good. good. Oh my god, someone in your chat asking if I have the container for the jalapenos. The uh, I used to when I lived with my family. What is the container? It's a. It's like this like plastic container. But it has like a lid that when you lift up the lid, it like lifts up all the jalapenos without the juice. Whoa. So you can just like grab one. Um, but I'm gonna be real. I'm lazy and I just put them in like a Tupperware. Right. <laughs> and I just grab them with my fingers and I just. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's crazy. <laughs> I'm surprised like Koreans haven't caught on to that because we also have. Um like this pickled thing and it's like pickled radish but there's also jalapenos in there too it's really similar Ooh, yeah really which is good. why i think there's a lot of like uh i've seen a lot of mexican korean fusion food and i think Dude, it goes well so together good. because it just like has a lot of the same flavor bases too you know have you ever had like kimchi quesadillas kimchi quesadillas no they're so good it goes really, really good yeah. i've had like bulgogi like tacos and stuff mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's good too they like grill the kimchi a little bit uh-huh um, and you just like put it with the cheese and it just blends really 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 well interesting i mean kimchi and cheese is like a pretty a lot of people like to put cheese on korean dishes nowadays because it goes well together so i'm i i totally can see that being a you know combination I'll have to try it sometime. Yeah, I recommend it. I like it. That's so funny though. The, the <laughs> Someone said the container <laughs> and you knew exactly <laughs> what they were talking about. <laughs> yeah, because like if you like if you live in the family home, like everybody has one. Oh, I've never seen that before. It's like I feel like like uh you have like the, the jalapeno container and then mm -hmm. you have like the tortilla holder. Mm -hmm. And in my family, oh, yeah, I've seen we the tortilla cheap. holder. Yeah, and we always just had a tortilla, like a plastic tortilla holder. Yeah. And we didn't have space to like store it when we weren't using it. So we would put it like in the oven, you know, uh -huh, like just uh -huh. turned off. Yeah. And then we would preheat the oven to bake something. Uh -oh. And then all of a sudden be like, uh oh, the something's tortilla melting. Container. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> First time it happened. <laughs> it happened Def multiple times. Yeah, definitely has similar things have happened in my household too, so I understand that feeling too well. That's so funny. Maybe I'll do instead of frills, we'll do. This crazy belt of metals metal belt 
I love drawing frills, so I went crazy. I will let you have the frills because I do not love drawing frills. <laughs> Shout out to the DeviantArt tutorial I saw when I was like 15. Oh my god, I, I probably saw the same exact <laughs> tutorial, not even joking. No, I probably saw the same exact tutorial. <laughs> those tutorials went hard. How to draw anime books. Shout out to those. Oh, the <laughs> blue one? Yeah. Where the, where the guy's eyes just like this, like, like th this, this, and he has like, <laughs> it looks like Ash Ketchum eyes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, those books taught you a lot. They did, they did. I think like the art itself was a little janky, but like a lot of the things that they taught you or like the basics and stuff were, yeah. they were still good. You own one of those books still? Oh, that's crazy. I think I might still have one like in my mom's house or something. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, so what did you get in trouble for? Like what what was your what did you do that your mom was like you are we're deporting you? Like what <laughs> What trouble could you have I possibly like, caused? I was I was just getting involved with like too many older friends. <laughs> That I had met at like anime conventions. And of stuff. course, of course, and that's where the yeah. underage drinking probably came from too. Yeah, yeah. No, that makes that that okay. Now everything is making sense. It's and, like, all my making grades sense. were getting really bad. Yeah. And... I mean, that was a time where you could meet people at anime conventions. I feel like it's not like that anymore. I feel like the vibe is so different now. But I also met a lot of people at anime conventions and. Uh, this is like a very not as well known fact, but I actually used to be in a maid cafe. Ooh. You know, one of those like convention maid cafes, yeah. right? Oh my and God. like, <laughs> I was the youngest one there, and you know, everyone was older. And that was actually where I started like drinking as well. <laughs> Ooh, no! The delinquent maids! The delinquent maids! That was a <laughs> but okay. The thing, the real part was, the difficult part was explaining to my parents what a maid cafe was, and they thought oh it was God. prostitution. So, you know, <laughs> that conversation was a really difficult one. <laughs> they legitimately thought it was like, like, you mean people are paying like for your services? <laughs> like... And you're wearing what? Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Explain to my that was that was a hard conversation to have, and I had to tell them like, no, it's just like you know we're like uh, regular waitresses. We just happen to like you know talk to people a little bit more and and dance. And I was like, the more I talk about it, the worse it sounds. Like honestly, <laughs> like genuinely, the the more that I go into it, the the worse it sounds. Reminds me of trying to convince my mom that wearing thigh highs was cool in anime. Oh my and god! Not prostitute behavior. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> Actually, though, <laughs> that was also a, a tough conversation to have. I I would just take him to school in my backpack, and I would just put him on in the bathroom instead. Oh, you well, you were like a real delinquent, so <laughs> you were like the the real of the real. I, I, I was very, like, you know, in general, I, I was a very good, good girl, listened to my parents and stuff, so, uh, which has probably, you know, saved me in a couple ways, like, I, yeah. I never wore, like, cat ears to school and stuff, probably for that reason. <laughs> Dude, I took a fox tail to school one time. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice, nice. It got, it got the skin. It got confiscated! <laughs> yeah. Your fox tail got confiscated! <laughs> Not <Yeah>. the fox tail. <laughs> you should have you should have told them it was like a plug type and then maybe they wouldn't have taken it away from me. No, even worse, it was like the kind that you would get like the Renaissance festivals. It was like a real animal. It was like a real tail. animal's tail! Yeah, and it stunk! <laughs> So maybe it was for the best that they took it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's 
so fucking funny. <laughs> they really were doing you a favor. They really were. <laughs> My poor mother. Your poor mother. Hey, you turned out <laughs> just fine. It's okay. Uh, you got you got it all out of your system. You know what I mean? I wonder. My my older sister is like married with a mm -hmm. house and mm -hmm. she's like an engineer oh oh you're telling me my sister's a doctor so you know oh my god <laughs> <laughs> and i'm here and i'm a vtuber yep yep <laughs> yep explaining that was another thing too <laughs> the, the, like definitely not prostitution mom and dad i promise <laughs> yeah it's okay. I think like I think the Maid Cafe lowered their expectations for me. Like after Maid Cafe, nothing could quite be as bad as as Maid Cafe. You know, they there. we had like a oh my god, this is like so embarrassing. They made us do this thing where we were advertising the cafe at like fairs and events. So like it wouldn't be a convention. So we're not actually like serving anyone, mm -mm. but we would go out and like go on stage or something and like dance to like promote the cafe. My parents Ew. like showed up to support and I was just like, I sure am dancing in a maid uniform with my parents watching me. It's really <laughs> a thing that's happening right now. But my parents are very supportive, so they were pretty chill about it after realizing it was an actual prostitution. Yeah, I'm <laughs> like, oh, okay, this stuff is harmless. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think generally like all of the, uh, you know, VTubing stuff. I've done like content creation before, so they were just like, oh, it's just like content creation. They didn't really understand the concept of streaming or avatars, but it was, it's fine. When I signed on with Before Me Die and mm. showed my mom, um, my model, mm -hmm. she was like, wow, your titties are out. Awesome. You should show them a lot. <laughs> Oh, thanks, mom. <laughs> Your mom knows what's up. She knows. She knows where the money is. <laughs> yeah, she's like, oh, you should make sure you show them a lot. <laughs> yeah, she's like, make that bag. <laughs> so funny. I have shown my parents my streams and stuff, but I have never shown them my full model because I don't know if you've seen my full model. <laughs> Yeah. It's pretty like here. If I like scroll, if I start scrolling up, it's like okay, up to here. It's like oh, okay, sure. Whoa. And then it just gets a little crazy. <laughs> uh, 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 oh, Look, my oh, my pa my parents are not. I was like, nope, they're not. They're not ready for that. They're not ready for that. <laughs> I think I have COVID. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Mono is not ready for that. No one's ready for that. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's it's a whole thing just like i missed that can we rewind no we we may not <laughs> uh, yeah it's like nope you guys are never seeing the full full model it's fine i show my mom because there's at this point there's like nothing that can surprise her that's true Oh, I've told my chat this story, but there was this one time where I had a uh, a joke gift that I requested from a friend, and it was pornography, but like, uh, it was like hentai, and it was like mm -hmm. really, really, really raunchy, intense hentai, like not just normal hentai, but like, I asked them to get me like, the, like as a joke, I said, get me the nastiest thing ever, and then he literally did. And it was like so bad, like it was like unreadable. Like that's how like crazy <laughs> this shit was. Like it was, like I couldn't even like be like, okay, well I have it. I might as well enjoy it. Like I couldn't even do that. Like that's that's how crazy this shit was. Like I'm not, I'm not shitting you. And so I hid it under my bed. And then I went to college. And then I came back and I could not find <gasps> it. No. And my parents never said anything about it. So. <laughs> <laughs> So that's that's somewhere. <laughs> it's a family <laughs> secret now. A family secret, <laughs> an actual family secret, and I'm I'm never bringing that up to my parents ever. <laughs> oh man, it's 
one of those things. They 100. percent I mean, they're they they must have been the ones that threw it away. Like I don't know where it Who went. Who else? Like yeah, like who's gonna go under my bed and dig up? You know. I'm actually more surprised that they threw it away. I'm surprised they didn't just like pretend not to see it and leave it there. <laughs> That's what I would have done. I feel like my parents typically would do something like that, so I'm, I am a little surprised that they did not do that. That's for her one guy. I, I did not dare bring it up. Hell no. Uh, I don't, I don't want to have that. Con <laughs> I was like, I'm not ready for that conversation. <laughs> Years later, I'm like, nope, not still not ready for that conversation. One time, I brought my bought my friend uh, Mikuru from Haruhi Su Suzumi. Yeah, I bought him her figure. Either she was in a bikini or in her maid dress, I don't remember. And I bought it for his birthday, and he put it in his closet because he couldn't like put it out because his parents also because we were <laughs> in high school. And then he told me that his mom found it and like yelled at him for having like porn, and. Then <laughs> He was like, Le no, Leora gave it to me. And she was like, you're lying. Like, why would like a girl like Leora give you something like, you know, like, she's like a sweet girl. Why would you like, you know, try to like blame it? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, rest oh, in peace. Nice. Cannot, cannot defend you there, my friend. Can't, can't show up to your mom and be like, no, ma'am, that was indeed me who bought this pornographic figure for your son. <laughs> Forgive him. I would just show up at home with like, like the super pochaco figures where she's like Hell in a yeah. bikini and she's like spilling out. Pach and super like pochaco is like especially bad. Oh my gosh, right? She's the best. Yeah. Uh, and I was just like, look, mom. And oh she'd my be like, God. oh, okay. <laughs> your mom, your mom just knew. I, she, I, I bet she was like, at least she's not underage drinking and. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, my mother. My, my dear, hardworking Catholic mother. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, like I said, accepted it. you turned out just fine. That's all that matters. <laughs> that just fine as I lovingly detail your armpits. Y yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. I had a picture of my mom with one of my Takimakuras. That's so funny. I, I think the last Takimakura I got was of Gilgamesh from Fate. Oh my god. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, uh, it was like these special Takimakuras that were supposed to be like L-shaped. Uh, oh, so like you're like, you're like, you can like kind of hug them or they can like hug you. Yeah, you're yeah. like, you know, it's supposed to like simulate like you're, you're on their, like you're sleeping on their arms. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I know which so one So I had this about. one of like Gilgamesh and I was like, look mom. <laughs> Uh -huh. And I took a picture of her like making a kissy face, like kissing. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> well, my mom was also really done with my shit, so um, I was also really into My Little Pony for like a long while when I was mm. way too old to be into My Little Pony, and <laughs> <laughs> and I had a at the time I had a twin bed because uh, my I was still living at my parents' house for mm. a period when I was in college. And I bought uh, My Little Pony bed sheets for oh, my cute. bedroom. And yeah, they were really cute and I was really happy with them. They were really pink and cute. And then um, I moved out for a while and my parents still had the bed sheets. And my, my dad was telling me about how like one of our, one of his like childhood friends, so, like I call him my uncle, but you know, he's like not my uncle. Mm. He like was staying over and like they had the My Little Pony bed sheets and he was just like, you are changing these bed sheets, right? Like, yeah, I'm not gonna be, <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I'm not sleeping in, in this, in this, am I? Like, you must be joking. <laughs> it was pretty funny. I hope they made him sleep in it. <laughs> they really did. And my mom also, uh, it was upside down, but I had... Do you know Clear from Dramatical Murder? 
Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I, had, I had a clear... It wasn't like a full Dakimakura, but it was like a half Dakimakura, so it fits normal pillows. I had one of those. And one time I, I came I came home from living away and that was just on the bed. And I was like, Mom! Because <laughs> like, they were using my room as a guest room. I was like, you can't just like leave. <laughs> you can't just leave him out here like that. <laughs> you can't just yeah, leave I'm clear. Sleeping with the guests. Yeah, to sleep with the guests. <laughs> like, oh my God. Imagine being the guest that like shows up. <laughs> Sleeps with that. <laughs> I'm probably just like, what the hell is this? <laughs> was uh, it was pretty funny. I'm happy we've had such a similar experience. <laughs> I'm very I surprised. Know, like, parents are like very like ashamed or like they have to hide. Oh all their yeah. Wee stuff, you know. It's no, like, my mom was also a weeb, so she couldn't like completely scrutinize me. Yeah. Yeah. My mom was like really into um, Mazinger Z, which is probably oh why gosh. I have such a thing for mechs. Oh, she's and... hardcore then. Yeah, and she was like really big on uh, Rose of Versailles, and her other oh favorite is one called Candy Candy. So like those are like the things. Oh that yeah, she Candy grew up Candy. With. Yeah, that's like what oh she grew god, up with. I feel with. like every mom loves Candy Candy. Oh my god, does your mom love Candy Candy too? She likes Candy Candy, and she likes this show called uh, I think it was like Kometo San. Oh. Uh, it was like half live action, half anime. What the? Yeah. That sounds crazy. So your mom was kind of a weeb too. Barely. <laughs> Barely. My mom my mom was my mom was pretty weeb. She wanted to be like a manga cut growing up. Oh cute. Yeah, so I have her like sketchbook and stuff. So oh, cute. when I was first doing art stuff, she was really excited and she like wanted to, me to be an artist and whatnot. Oh. She was like, Oh, you're like living my dream, you know. Like oh, that. that's so cute. Yeah. She's very supportive. But oh, I did not hi. end up being an artist, so, uh, rip. <laughs> Ooh, sweet, sweet mom. Mm -hmm. So stinking cute. My mom was on the other hand, like, being like, when are you gonna get a real job? <laughs> when are you oh. gonna get a real job? Yeah. You're gonna be a starving artist all your life? It's like, yeah, mom. <laughs> yeah. I understand. <laughs> That's like the general artist experience though, right? Like lots of most parents are kind of more on that on that side. Oh my god, yeah. My mom is like crafty, but she's not really a like an artist. Mm. She has done like cake decorating, candles, Ooh, like, wow. melon glossing, like sewing. She can do like everything. Holy moly. But like drawing was never her thing. Like she can't mm. like, she can like copy like a painting. Sure. Kind of thing. But like, Which is still I don't think I've ever seen her make like an original drawing. Mm. No, my, I think my mom drew a lot when she was growing up and. So cute. Yeah, you know, she wanted to be a mangaka, so she drew a lot, a lot, and uh, my grandma apparently was not very supportive. <laughs> she was like, you're not gonna make a living being a mangaka, so when when I was into anime and stuff, my mom was a lot more supportive, because she was oh, like, so oh, like, you know, I know what it's like, and stuff like that, so. Aww. Yeah. Fortunately. I think at one point my grandparents like owned some kind of like manga rental in Korea as well, so. Cute! Yeah. Oh my gosh. What it was your like first or like your introduction to anime? Card Capture Sakura. Oh. So it was airing in Mexico? Also, and Coconut, thank you so much for Ray. Welcome, Raider. Oh, thank you, thank you. Mm -mm. Oh, before you continue, would you like to introduce yourself to the Raiders very quickly? 
Uh, uh, hi, my name is Mona Monet from Before Me Dies Second Generation Petalite. And uh, I very proudly retweeted Kokunia's, uh <laughs> Topless art. <laughs> topless. Thing not for... topless yet. Not topless yet. Almost Future... topless. Future topless. topless. <laughs> it's at 510 retweets. Oh! <laughs> Mono got it over. Hell yeah. Well, Coconut's got her work cut out for her. Now she's got to draw me topless. <laughs> we hit the goal. Yay. <laughs> Yeah, Mona was just talking about how, how she liked Coconut's art right before we started streaming, too. Yeah, it's really nice! Yeah, that's really good. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> but, but yeah. <laughs> Card Captor Sakura. What is the opening in Spanish? Is it different? It's a theme. It's just a dub, and it's a really good dub. It's it's a Catch You Catch Me? Yeah, it's just in oh. Spanish. Oh. Yeah, I feel like a lot of the old dub like anime songs were actually kind of good yeah like in and also like the latino dubs are pretty good so do you and, watch like, it like fully dubbed anything. yeah i mean i watched like as much as i could um on mexican tv mm -hmm. um and then i watched the rest like in japanese mm. um, but i remember being so shocked when i came to the u.s as a kid and being uh -huh. like hard captors what was it called in Spanish? Have, it's just called Card Captor Sakura. Like they don't, oh, okay. they didn't change anything uh -huh. in Mexico. Oh. Um, but like here in the states, you know, I got the four kids treatment. Right. Uh, so like all the names got changed. What, wait, what was it? What was it in English? What was it for kids? It was uh, it was Card Captors. That's, oh, was, they just took out the Sakura part. Was, yeah, it was called Card Captors. Mm -hmm. uh, I think if instead of being called Sakura Kinomoto, she was called like Sakura. Avalon or something? Something like, like that. that, probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like, they changed all the names. They took out all the Yuri and all the gay yeah. undertones, which, yeah. I mean, for Card Capture Soccer, is the entire show. It's like literally the uh, whole show. But... Yeah, it's the plot. <laughs> yeah, so I. Uh, I, yeah, so I, I got really it. into Card Capture Soccer as well, but I was mostly like in the manga side it was like the first uh -huh. time that i had read manga and uh -huh. it was that one and i was introduced to it by a friend the manga is really good oh yeah sharon lee was just lee that's right uh -huh. yeah that was a shonen treatment mm -hmm. oh tomoyo was madison that's right i do remember this <laughs> vaguely oh sorry i have to mute myself give me a second Ugh. Our captors of the cloud respect you on your wicked death. Powers of the cloud, all the mystery. Something, something, something. <laughs> was that the opening? That can be. That was the, that was the American opening. Card captors, a mystic <laughs> adventure. Card captors, a quest for all time. Something like that. Okay, to be fa <laughs> to be fair, four kids English openings kind of went hard though. <laughs> I mean, they did. They did. <laughs> like I know everyone likes to shit on the One Piece rap, but it was unironically kind of good. <laughs> like unironically, it's kind of good. <laughs> And I mean, if it wasn't for the four kids stuff, there was, I think, a card captors, uh, Taco Bell Happy Meal toy series. What? Yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> I gotta find the pictures. There was a Taco Bell Happy Meal toy. Back when, back when they give you toys at Taco Bell Happy Meal. I didn't even know ta Taco Bell had Happy Meals. Back in the day. Yeah! The yeah, only opening from 4Kids you like is the Pyro Rap in One Piece. I don't know. I like the Pokemon music. The, what do you call it? To Be a Master is a great album. Not to be yeah. slept on. Whoa! What the? <laughs> what the? Those are the toys you would get at Taco Bell. Well, I've never seen this before. <laughs> you 
you get the little you can even get like a Tomoyo's little camera camcorder. Yeah, I have that one. I well that's it. so cute. And the cloud <laughs> card thing is so cute too. <laughs> what the No, I've never seen that. <laughs> card capture was probably the first series that I saw that like I knew as anime. Mm-hmm. -mm. So that would probably be similar, similar one to to you as well. Like I, I had seen like a bunch of stuff like Dragon Ball or like you know, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh or whatever. But I I didn't really know those were anime at the time. In my family it was Cardcaptor Sakura and Evangelion. Hmm. Really, you saw Evangelion pretty early then. I didn't see Evangelion yeah. until like way later, I think. No, I grew up with it like as a kid because I was Cardcaptor Sakura, and then my older sister um, was into uh, yeah Evangelion. Like you know, when we were still living in Mexico, so we were still kids. Mm. Um, like my sister couldn't have been older than like I don't know fourteen or something like that. <laughs> wow. And, uh, yeah, that was like those were our, our things. We went to go see End of Evangelion together. Oh, yeah. that's cute. She was super excited. Is she still a weeb? Mm, only for Ava. Mm. That's like the only thing she cares about. Like a lot of my friends who have like siblings that they grew up with as weebs, like a lot of them are just not weebs anymore, but we still mm. are, you know? Like I'm pretty sure my like sister appreciate. only liked that stuff because of me, but she didn't. She didn't really carry it on. There was a Dragon Ball dub made by Harmony Gold where they changed the names and stuff. Part of it was dub in Spanish and Mexico and at least two episodes got mixed into the normal dub by accident. Huh. It was like different names or something? I heard um Saint Seiya was really big in Mexico. Yeah, it's enormous. That's crazy. I really like Saint yeah. Seiya. In Mexico, it's known as like um, Knights of the Zodiac. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's huge over there. That's so random because like I feel like it just never got like picked up in the in the U.S. Right? Yeah. No, but it was really yeah, Caballeros del Zodiaco. It was really like oh. really popular, and yeah, like the openings got doves and everything. It was picked up in America, it just didn't catch on. Oh, it just wasn't popular. I see, I see. It was on Toonami. I feel like Toonami, it, it's like a different vibe though, right? Like the four kids versus Toonami treatment. Yeah. So I feel like Knights of the Zodiac feels like one of the ones, like Saint Seiya feels like one of the ones that should have been on four kids instead of Toonami. Just get the whole, whole ass four kids makeover. Everyone's name is like Sam and, you know, Madison or whatever. <laughs> I was so mad when they came to the States and like learned that they would change all the names for everything. Mm. Do they not do that in Spanish? No, and like all the Latino dubs, they just kept everything the same. Mm, I guess it's a little bit easier to say because the pronunciation is a little bit similar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, like um, Sailor Moon, you know, or Pokemon. Those were all oh, like, yeah, fully, yeah. fully changed. Although I think the Sailor Moon dub was pretty good and iconic in its own way. I never really watched too much Sailor Moon. Personally. Oh, really? Yeah. Is that not as big in Mexico? Or it was. Mm, I think you just, I just, it just never. Like, yeah, yeah, by the time I started watching stuff on TV. Mm -hmm. It was like uh, Card Capture Soccer took its slot. I see, I see. On like Makes on sense. TV channels. And then Cousins, after that, it yeah. was Dory Me. Oh yeah, Dory Me. Yeah. I mean, it was cute. Yeah, Magical Girl Dory Me was so good. And then stuff like Captain Subasa was really popular in Mexico too. Oh, that's a soccer anime, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. 
I mean, that makes sense because, like, soccer is really big in Mexico. Yeah. Right? Football. <laughs> <laughs> the real football, not the American kind. We got Dory and me. For the most part, they kept the same, but they do change stuff to avoid bad coincidences with slang, like changing Dragon Ball's Chi Chi's name into milk because Chi Chi is slang for breasts. I see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, cago me to alme because cago sounds like pooping. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Well, yeah, yeah, those yeah. changes make sense. <laughs> Understandable. I think I had already moved out of Mexico though by the time like Inyasha mm. was around. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Inuyasha was really popular when I was younger, but mostly like the manga. Mm -hmm. Were you into it at all? Um, I was, but I was like a fake fan, I feel like. I didn't like yeah. really super get into it, but like all my friends were into it. So I would read when they would lend me their manga volumes, but that was like about it. And I would just say I liked it just so that <laughs> Yeah, me too! <laughs> Honestly, the only thing I like really knew about it at the time, I I, had, I went back and like kind of read it more later and I enjoyed parts of it, but um, and I also watched it when I got older because it was starting to air on Toonami and stuff too. Mm -hmm. But like when I first had heard about it and stuff, I didn't really know much about it. The only thing I knew was if Kagome says sit, that Inuyasha would sit. That was like the only piece of information <laughs> that I had about Inuyasha that I knew about. <laughs> I didn't really know too much, but I I saw Sashomaru and I was like, oh, what a beautiful man. Oh, yeah. And uh, he captivated the hearts of many. <laughs> and I think I had an Inuyasha OC with this girl in. An Middle Inuyasha School OC? Or yeah, I, I was such a fake fan though. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> I just wanted to fit in. Nah, <laughs> no, I was also a fake fan, so I totally understand. <laughs> it was like already by that time, I was like. I was so into Ragnarok Online, but like, <laughs> what other freaking kid on the playground is gonna know about Ragnarok Online? None of them! Yeah. <laughs> Especially when we were young. And no one can afford it either. Yeah! You must have been pretty like tech savvy then, huh, growing up? Yeah, I was always. IRC really into that. and like, yeah. you know, private servers and whatnot. Yeah. Because when I was really little, Mm -hmm. Like one of the first things my like my dad gifted me mm. and my sister in Mexico was just like this old computer mm -hmm. just loaded with ROMs and emulators. Whoa. Just like, you know, it didn't have internet access or anything like that, but just sure. like loaded. And like we didn't get any consoles or anything. We just had this like old computer with a bunch of ROMs on it. Well that's not that's, that's way like, better than having a console. That. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> it was awesome. That sounds awesome. Well what was your favorite game to play on there? Uh, me and my sister really liked uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Zombies and... Ate My Neighbors? Yeah, and we liked a game called Claymates. Huh. I don't think I've heard of either of those. Yeah. Those, are, those are our favorites. My PC gaming adventures started when I went to this after school. My parents would send me to this after school program, and the only game that was on those computers was Prince of Persia. So like, oh my god, yeah, yeah. So like, we would we would study, and then if we had breaks, it was just everyone clamoring, <laughs> like trying to play Prince of Persia, and it was a freaking <laughs> hard game. Yeah, I did. It's a really hard game, so it would just be like you know people like, oh me next, me next, and like trying to like beat the you know, levels or whatever. It was pretty crazy. And then and then mm. and then Costco games came out and then that's when I started getting like putt putt and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Math blasters, putt putt, Barbie, horse adventure. <laughs> oh my god. It was, uh... oh, I remember playing one of the Barbie games that was uh -huh. like 
She was like a fashion spy or something. Whoa. I don't, I don't remember which one it was, but some of those Barbie games went hard. The Barbie Horse Adventure was like one of my favorite games ever. I freaking love that game. I had like some pet shop game too, and what was that? I had I had some Lion King game that was really hard on the PC. Good times. What was your first console then? I guess it was the GBA. Was technically the classic Game Boy. Oh, okay. So you didn't but have I, that like, one. I barely remember having it. Hmm. I think my sister either might have lost it or something. Mm. I barely remember having it. And then after that, a Game Boy Color that we had to like share. Right. Um, but I think like my first first console was a GameCube. And it oh. wasn't until like far until I moved to the States as yeah. a kid. Mm -hmm. Not nothing was my baby. Yeah. I love the game. What's your favorite game on the GameCube? I was Animal Crossing. Oh, Animal Crossing Wild World was so good. Is it Wild World the, that was on the no, GameCube? No, it was like the one on the GameCube was just the original Animal Crossing. Oh, oh, oh it was just Animal Crossing. Yeah. Because I think Wild World was for the Wii. Maybe, yeah. Maybe you're right. I just had a purple GameCube, and I, I also thought that it was portable because it looks like a lunchbox. Yeah, and it has like a handle on it. <laughs> the handle. <laughs> it has a handle on it, which is really misleading, honestly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I broke it. Oh my god. I yeah, know, I had, I had that same one. Mine was like a bundle, and it came with Smash. So like the very first game I had was Smash and I was very confused because like I did not understand what kind of game it was supposed to be because I was very small. <laughs> to this day, honestly, Smash still confuses me. I'm like, I mean, pretend it's just me. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm so good. Very difficult game for for very little kids, you know. My GameCube came with the with like the Zelda. Ooh. CD bundle. Mm-hmm. So it was like Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, and like a demo for Wind Waker. Oh. It was like a I didn't know they had. I thought Majora's Mask was not on GameCube. It was like a port. You know, oh. But, um, I think that like that disc was like I think one of the only ways you could play it at the time. Um, it was pretty good though. I just watched my sister play them because it was like too scary for me as a kid. Right. My favorite GameCube game, and I think it's a really not underrated. I think it's just people don't even know that it exists, which I guess could be underrated. Is Kirby Air Ride? That's like Ooh. I don't know if you played that one. It's such a good game. I haven't. The only Kirby game I've actually played is Tilt and Tumble. <laughs> the game Tilt and Tumble is a good game, but Kirby Air Ride <laughs> is like not a typical Kirby game. It's like a racing game. Ah. But it's not really racing either. Like the, there's like a city mode and you like run around the city and you get it's it's kind of like Fortnite, like Battle Royale esque. <laughs> like literally you get dropped and then you're like in the city and you have to like run into other people and like kill them. <laughs> now that I think about it, now that I think about it, it's Fortnite? actually it's actually Fortnite before Fortnite. <laughs> Holy shit. I was a Fortnite gamer when I was a kid. <laughs> Time actually never changes. Things it actually never changes. Oh my god. Oh my god, the realization right now. Holy shit. I was chug jugging before I even before, before the internet existed. <laughs> Wait, what was your first console then? Um, I had a Game Boy Color, and then the first, like, physical, like, or, like, not handheld console was mm. the N64 is what I had. Ooh, I yeah. one of those. Uh, N64, my aunt had one, and I would play every time I went to her house, and then my, my parents eventually got me one because, you know, they, they weren't home often, so <laughs> they were like, oh, it'll preoccupy her, and she won't get in, in trouble if she's, like, home by herself, so... <laughs> uh, I, I had an N64 and I played. I just played a fuck ton of Pokemon games on the N64. Yeah. I did, I like didn't have anything besides Pokemon games on the N64, honestly. 
was what Pokemon was on the N64? Like Stadium? Yeah, Stadium, oh, Stadium not... 2, Hey You Pikachu. Oh, uh, uh, what else was there? Pokemon Snap was on there. Oh, I always wanted to play that. Yeah, Snap was there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just played. Yeah, Pokemon Puzzle League. That was like one of my favorite games oh. ever. Yeah, Puzzle League was on there. It was a. Uh, I think I basically only owned Pokemon games. <laughs> <laughs> I actually can't think of an N64 game I owned that wasn't Pokemon. That's all you need. It, I have, especially when I was a kid, I was obsessed with Pokemon. I love Pokemon. Oh, did you ever? This is kind of a silly question, but did mm. you ever like? play pretend pokemon when you were little oh yeah i was actually just telling my chat about this like literally a couple days ago but yeah? i had this one it must have been some dvd that i own and uh it was the quagsire episode <laughs> a dvd or vhs i don't know um and i would pretend to be quagsire and headbutt my sister all the time <laughs> 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 it was a really random. I don't know why. It's like a very <laughs> random memory for me, but it's very stark, you know. But That's it was so it was particularly Quagsire. I don't know why. We th I just think we we even then we thought Quagsire just looked so stupid. Like he looked so silly. That's adorable. <laughs> What's your favorite Pokemon, Mono? Ah, uh, Reuniclus. Oh, Reuniclus is a good one. I love Reuniclus. It's like literally you could eat him. Yes, forbidden gummy. Oh, well, when I was little, um, mm -hmm. and when I still lived in Mexico, um, mm -hmm. you know, we would like play pretend Pokemon mm. in, the, in the playground, mm. and of course, you know, I wanted to be Eevee because everybody wanted to be Eevee. But sure. you know, this other girl would take dibs on Eevee, and I would uh -huh. be like, so bitter. I was like, ah, I'm gonna show this girl. So <laughs> I went home, uh -huh. found the website for pokemon like the uh -huh. english website uh -huh. and i was little and i was in mexico and in mexico like we just like looked up to anything that was like from the u.s you know it's like oh, oh it's sure legit. it feels from the u.s right um so i made up this pokemon called scar it was just a gray slug <laughs> and <laughs> and i went the next day to school and i was like well i went on the internet and uh -huh. i found the newest design from the United States <laughs> for this brand new Pokemon that you guys haven't seen yet named Scar. And he's a slug and he goes, Scar, Scar. <laughs> 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 and I was like, I'm going to play Scar. And everyone was like, wow, Mona, you're so cool. <laughs> 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 oh my god. You, you gaslit them. I was you totally lied and you them. gaslit them. <laughs> and it worked. And it worked. Oh my god. <laughs> you, were a, you were a problem child. I see now. <laughs> Gaslighting children and <laughs> underage drinking. <laughs> making up fake Pokemon names. Damn. <laughs> yeah, Mono, Mono scamming kids in Mexico. Like... <laughs> Because at the That's time, because so I didn't play a Pokemon game or like really watch it until I went to the US. So oh. when I was still in Mexico, I didn't know any Pokemon. So I was like, oh. I want to be Pikachu. Oh, someone's already Pikachu. I want to be Charmander. Right. Oh, someone's already Charmander. I want to be Eevee. Oh, someone's already Eevee. So right, like, right. right. I'll, screw you guys. I'll be Scar. <laughs> 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 Your Pokemon OC. And I think Scar literally was just like. I like how he's a slug. Like a slug. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. <laughs> just like a great slug. Oh my god. <laughs> the best Pokemon ever, obviously. <laughs> you know what would be crazy if like there was a gray slug Pokemon that like actually came out and then you you were like, you know, prophetic, like you you had been you had prophesized it's coming, you know? <laughs> There might be by this point there's so many new ones that's true but there might be something similar i don't know the last pokemon i played was sun and moon oh okay i didn't so really care much for sun and moon that's what a lot of people said i liked it but Ooh, i liked just good. like the the world building yeah oh man i love the i love all the designs lately i'm gonna play with trevor whatever pokemon comes next i think i'll play Oh hell yeah! You, I honestly recommend checking out Scarlet Violet. I know people shat on it, but personally, I think it's. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really fun, and I really enjoyed the game a lot. 
I really like all the designs for everything now. Yeah, I also like a lot of the, the new. Not all of them, but a lot of them, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, wait, you you collect like Pokemon cards, right? I I don't, but I play the Pokemon card game, yeah. Which is weird. I think most people just collect the cards, but I don't actually like own a lot of cards. The cards I own are all really old, like from high school. Oh. Yeah. I Do you collect Pokemon cards? That I got gifted. You yeah, got I, gifted? I mean, I don't play the game. Mm, 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 mm. I got gifted like a huge collection of them. Oh. Uh huh. Um. So I just like looking at the art. Yeah. <laughs> I no, I, I mean, I don't actually know the gameplays. I I think most people are like that where they collect the cards just to collect them but they don't know the actual gameplay so that's like i think i would say that's pretty normal i think yeah. it's more weird if you know actually how to play the game <laughs> like why 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 do you why who's who are you playing this game with it's like no one's playing this game <laughs> but it seems fun it is fun it is fun the other day. if you ever want to learn i'd be more than happy to teach you <laughs> It's the same, the same cards, right? It is the same cards, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been really like tempted to open cards. some packs now that I've been playing the game a lot more, you know? You should. Yeah. But I, I play a lot of TCGs, so um, my cardboard collection is, you know... <laughs> I own do you actually collect cardboard. cards for other ones? I do, because I usually play them physically. Ooh. I'm not much of a collector. I'm also like not like even in Pokemon like the games. I wasn't much hmm. of a collector. Like I wasn't like you know, like one to, like I want every card or I want or I want every Pokemon in the game. Like I was never a type like that. It's usually like oh I want to just collect my favorites and that's about it. So that's kind of how I am with the physical cards too. Like I I usually don't um, collect too much, but more of like if if I can play with them then I'll buy them. Wait, which card games do you play? I play uh, like every card game. <laughs> but I play mostly right now. I play Vanguard, Card Fight Vanguard. Um, and I play a little bit of Shadowverse Evolve. And I play another one called Grand Archive. And those are kind of the main ones. Oh, and I play Digimon as well. Digimon has a card game currently. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty I remember good. selling Digimon cards at my old job. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. No, Digimon's awesome. It's actually done really well, and it's been fun. Yu-Gi-Oh! So I do have some Yu-Gi-Oh! cards, but I don't like playing Yu-Gi-Oh! physically because it gives me a fucking headache. So I only play Yu-Gi-Oh! if it's like online via Master Duel. So mm -hmm. I don't uh, I don't own any... Well, I mean, I do own Yu-Gi-Oh! cards, but I don't like own a collection or anything of Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. Is it complicated? Yu-Gi-Oh? Like, Yu-Gi-Oh is one of those things that like I only watched the anime as a kid and then I like stopped paying attention to it. Yu-Gi-Oh is very complicated, yeah. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh is like... It's just one of those that... How do you explain Yu-Gi-Oh? I don't love Yu-Gi-Oh because it, it does feel like the game is... Can you prevent the other person from playing this game? <laughs> mm. It's a lot of, you have to keep a lot of track of, like, if you, so, Mono plays Pikachu, right? For example, we're going to use Pokemon mm -hmm. names because you'll be familiar with that. You play Pikachu mm -hmm. and then I'll play, like, a Pokeball and be like, you're not allowed to play Pikachu because I played a Pokeball. And you'll be like, okay, mm -hmm. well, you played a Pokeball, then I'm going to play Professor Oak, which cancels your Pokeball. And then what? I'll be like, <laughs> and then I'll be like, no, 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 I'm going to play Palatown because that cancels all <laughs> Professor type <laughs> cards activations. And then you'll be like, okay, well, fine. Then I'm going to play, and, you know, it's just like a, who can um, negate the other person first? Uh, prevent the other person yeah, from playing their card. Complicated. Yeah, it's not. It's I do not recommend it. <laughs> but I I really do like Yu-Gi-Oh. I think a lot of the newer cards, especially like, have really cute cards. So for example, there's a there's a VTuber archetype now. So there's like these VTuber what? cards. Yeah. Wait. Let me show you. They're actually really 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 cute. Last I saw was like the Dragon Maids. Dragon. Oh, that's the deck that I play. <laughs> and the sushi boats. Oh, sushi ships. Yeah, sushi ships are great. Yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Twins. The VTubers have permeated everything now. That's crazy. Yeah, it's so... But, like, Live Twin is so cute. Here. 
They're VTubers, so that's like what they look like. Oh, these are super cute. Right? They're like these are like that's their VTuber avatar. So they even oh, had the little really animation cute. where like this is like their streaming screen. But then IRL oh, cool. IRL, this is what they look like. Which is also really cute. Oh my gosh. Yeah, live this twins rules. are awesome. I right? Seen, I mean, I had seen these designs, but I didn't know they were Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, so this is why I love modern Yu-Gi-Oh because, like, I think the designs are so cool, and I really love a lot of the characters and like the world building and stuff that they're doing with modern Yu-Gi-Oh. I just really yeah. don't like playing modern Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> what? Ice Queen is basically if my melody and Kurumi committed crimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're like they're like fan they're like phantom thieves kind of like that's like there. The only game I kind of like know about is uh, Recross because I have oh! some friends that are like really into it. Really? Wait, that's so funny because I actually just opened up a couple packs recently because I've been wanting to get into it, but I don't know anybody that like actually plays it. So I just opened packs like for fun because they were on sale and yeah. I love the cards so much. They're super nice. They're so pretty. Yeah. yeah. My friend one time like I was rooming with her at a convention and she just like handed me a couple packs and she's like, here, open some. Like, yeah, cause she, she's like the kind that will just buy like cases, five boxes at a time, yeah, yeah, like yeah. five cases and just like go through all of them. Um, and she's like, here, open some. And so nice because they have so many like the cards have little like textures and yeah glossy. they do and white and cross has really stuff. nice foiling like their foiling looks so pretty i really like them oh my gosh if you ever want to play white cross <laughs> i'm sure a lot of friends would be really excited if i did <laughs> No, I love TCGs. TCGs are, uh, they're kind of, they've kind of become, so like TCGs and uh, Gunpla, which I saw you were building. Yeah! Caliban. Awesome. Such a good build. It's my second Gunpla ever. Really? How did yeah. you like it? I liked it a lot. It's yeah. really cozy. It is really fun. Very chill and relaxing. It really is. And I was surprised working at an anime store, like how big Gumpla is as a hobby. Oh yeah. It's major. Yeah, it is. Like all sorts of people get into it. And I really like that. Yeah. And then people really like customize their stuff as well, so. Yeah, I wish I was like really skilled at it and I would like I wish I could make mine look all like damaged. Yeah, well, I wanted to just make mine like really pink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the ones that when people like bejewel them, like, yeah! that's my favorite. You're gonna, yeah. you're gonna bejewel your gumba. Uh huh. Oh my gosh, those are cute. What about Magic the Gathering? Uh, I don't play MTG. I feel like Magic is like really old first of all so it's a little daunting and i didn't grow up with it and then second of all uh the art kind of filters me because it's not anime <laughs> mm, yeah it's not cute it's not cute I mean, although nowadays i think magic's gotten very anime so it's a lot more anime now than it was before but still not anime enough for me personally but i think it's i think it's cool it's like the grandfather of tcgs in a way too so gotta put respect where it's due I think I'm, magic intimidates me too much. Yeah, I I would not I would not play magic ever. What's cool is I recently learned that magic has like a lot of different formats though, which I didn't realize like it had so many formats. But I think that's a really cool aspect of magic that uh, I haven't seen a lot of like Asian TCGs do, just having like a bajillion different formats. Formats like. Um, like, like for example, games? Magic has a format that's like 
like a draft format where you sit there and they give you like 10 packs or something and then you open the 10 packs and of those 10 packs whatever cards you get you play a tournament with those cards for example Aww. yeah which is which is not like a new format like a lot of other games have that format too but like for example it's mm. like an example of a format and then there's like legacy formats where you can play every single game that exists in the game period and then there's other formats that are like you can only play the most recent sets or like you know stuff like that where it's like more limited mm. there's magic also has like a commander format for example where it's like a team format it's like 1v1 v1 v1 so it's not just like you're fighting oh. 1v1 you're fighting like four different people are fighting each other sort of thing so yeah lots of like cool magic uh stuff so i thought that was really neat that they had so many things like that because i haven't really makes seen sense because it's such an old game right they gotta keep it like fresh somehow right so mm. definitely makes sense you show mono you're a uh, Magic Gathering My Little Pony promo cards. Oh yeah, and they those. also do have My Little Pony collab, which makes it make made me consider getting into Magic. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> they were pretty cute. I remember seeing them. I freaking love My Little Pony. I did a stream where it was like, you know, show me your collections and stuff. I and saw that stream of yours. It was really really cute. It was awesome. It was yeah. cool to see what people collect. I would love to do one of those as well. You should. I was surprised to see like what people are really into and some people have like really like in-depth collections or like really rare stuff. Yeah. I, but I always get nervous to do those. I feel like I'm not going to get any submissions. <laughs> see, that's what I thought too. And then I got like 200 pictures. Oh my God. Yeah. So I think you definitely would get a ton. Yeah, maybe, maybe I just got to get the courage to do it. They're both owned by Hasbro. Oh, that's right. That's right. Wizards is now owned by Hasbro. Are you forgetting? The magic, the My Little Pony cards aren't legal. They're not. What? Boo. You can't play them? You can't. What's the point of having them if you can't play them? I also recently learned stuff about like slabbed cards. Like, are you familiar with slabs? Nope. So it's like when you see those Pokemon cards that are in a big plastic slab. <laughs> They're like usually in like a big case and on the top it has like PSA and then it'll say like a number like PSA grade 10 or something and like it'll- Oh, the graded yeah, yeah. cards. Yeah, they're like graded cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, um, I recently learned that there's two companies for great for slabs. Mm -hmm. I didn't know this, but apparently the two companies obviously hate each other because they're competitors. So what you can <laughs> do is if you have a PSA 8, for example, you can send it into the other company and have it regraded. And usually if you send in a PSA 8, they will give you a higher number. <laughs> <laughs> Just be better than the old one. Yeah, like, like cause, cause if they give you a higher grading, they will um, recase it for you in their company <laughs> because the current one says PSA on the top, right? So for them, they want the, their company name on the top. So apparently, it's like a thing that people do where they'll buy grade <laughs> nine cards. Yeah, it was Beckett. So like, it's like they'll buy grade nine Beckett cards and then send it to PSA in hopes that PSA will make it a nine point five or a ten instead. <laughs> And I guess it's like certain grades are more expensive than others. So like a PSA 10 is worth more than a Beckett 10 or something. So then people will like try to resubmit or, you know, whatever. I, I guess there's like strategies to it. I thought that was kind of interesting. I've kind of heard a little bit about this, but yeah. I don't know. Like, I think if I was a collector, I'd be too scared to like send anything in. Because what if it gets like bent or something in the mail? Right. So you have to like send it in a very particular way, I suppose. I've never sent anything in to get graded, so I don't know either. Mm. I just buy like, I only own one slab, but I like bought the slab that somebody else had already graded, mm -hmm. you know? No concern on my end, right? <laughs> I'd be too nervous. Yeah, I just bought my first slab not that long ago, actually, because I was like, you know what? I've been doing TCGs for a while, and wow. like, I would yeah, love that's to how like. Yeah, you know have you're a... in deep. 
Like, I didn't get an expensive one. It was like a $25 slab. But I was just like, I just want a slab just to have one. And it's like kind of like, you know, nostalgic and nice to have. So I kind of want to get a Pokemon slab because I have a Yu-Gi-Oh slab right now. Ooh. I'd like to get a Pokemon slab one day. Pokemon cards are really nice. Mm-hmm. The art's so good. saw recently a Pokemon card that's like it's like a couple hundred dollars or something uh -huh. like that and it was this like traditional Japanese style like artwork on it oh the Hanafudas yeah I think so it was really gorgeous I heard really though you know what's one. crazy because like the Hanafuda po the Pokemon Hanafuda set you could buy like the whole set for like $40 apparently but each slab now for each card in that set is like a hundred something dollars yeah. which is insane they're pretty though they are pretty yeah what about a trusty steed slab no I don't, I don't want a trusty steed slab it's just a horse no horses horses not allowed now comes the hentai, hentai binder, binder story. story. What uh -oh. is the story? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> What's the story? Okay, so like, I, don't know. <laughs> I was getting into CCGs, right? <laughs> and like, um, you know, girls are not as like common in the TCG community. Yeah. And it's just rare to see girls in the community or like at stores and stuff. And I'm at a store and I'm like buying stuff and I'm. I'm there, uh, and you know, I was buying Digimon cards, and the guy was, I was like, oh yeah, I play Vanguard, and but I'm really mostly buying Digimon right now, and blah blah, and like this guy was helping me, he was really nice, and then his like coworker comes over, and he's, cause like I guess he was asking him for like you know opinions and stuff too, which is fine, but then the coworker comes over, and I'm just like making small talk while the other guy's looking for some cards, and I'm just trying to be nice, right, making small talk, and I go, mm. oh like, oh uh, like so. You, you play, you know, whatever game, or you play this, and we're just talking. And I go, what's the most uh, expensive card you own? Because we were talking about how expensive cards can get. Mm -hmm. And he goes, oh, let me show you. And I was like, uh -oh. um, okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, um, okay. And he pulls out his binder, which is like, you know, a regular binder. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, that's cool. And he's like, oh, like... And I think I had said something about waifus. I was like, oh, yeah, I only play waifu decks. I really like waifus. So I think, like, he saw that as, like, some form of, like, invitation or something. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, like, oh, but this is, like, a special binder. And then, like, he, like, <laughs> opens the binder. And the inside of the binder is, like, ahegao. Like, in the no! binder cover. <laughs> It, the entire binder, like the binder itself, was like an ahegao binder. Like, it's not the cards; it's like the binder itself. And he's showing it to me, and I, I'm just looking at it like, like, oh, cool binder. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to say to that? <laughs> uh, yeah, I was like, I was like, oh yeah, you got a really cool binder. <laughs> Like, oh yeah, oh yeah, this rules, bro. Yeah, get me out of here. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I was just like, ah, uh, yes. I this was one of my first like times like getting into TCGs too, and I was like, ah, yes, the uh, classic. The cla This is what happens when you get into TCGs, you know. <laughs> as as Mr. Allen said, it is a rite of passage. No. Oh my god. Getting hentai bindered. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's just what you gotta do if you wanna get into TCGs. That was that was pretty horrible and I was very like, you know, like I do not wanna be here. Get me out of here. <laughs> but it was funny because I had a friend who he also likes TCGs, but he's a guy. And he said hmm. almost the same exact thing happened to him. And I thought we went to the same store and it was the same guy, but it was a different guy. What? So, so this is like, like a... This is just a common recurrence. of hentai binders? Yeah, 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 yeah. The epidemic of people... It's one thing to have a hentai binder. Whatever. You can have whatever you want, right? But like yeah. showing your hentai binder to strangers in public is... That's 
that's what's weird right like you can have a hentai binder whatever yeah. but like showing it to strangers in public please <laughs> <laughs> please no one wants to see your hentai binder Wait, that happened to you too? Games. I wanna be I wanna be the hentai binder. You wanna be the hentai binder <laughs> guy. You know what? If anyone is the hentai binder guy, I would rather it be you. If anyone's got if that hat person has to exist, I hope it's you. <laughs> I gotta become the hentai binder person. Beco yeah. yeah, that's that's our life aspiration. Becoming the the hentai binder guy. <laughs> was this 2016? No, this was last year. <laughs> <laughs> this was last year. I told the story on stream like right after it happened. <laughs> Helpful note: cute girls do not want to see your hentai stash. Like. If I see, and I've seen this at like uh, events and stuff, if I see someone wearing a ahegao anything, I oh just like, I just avoid any sort of eye contact <laughs> oh or God. like, any, like I'm just like, please stay as far away from me as possible. I can't believe people still buy those. I went to a TCG tournament recently and somebody was wearing like a ahega hoodie and I was like that must be ironic now <laughs> that it must be ironic like you could not be wearing an ahega hoodie like in this day and age unironically please uh... but he did not look like he was wearing that ironically I'm not gonna <laughs> lie like his face was not that of a yeah I'm doing this for the hee hee ha ha's face it was oh to serious. be that free <laughs> to, to be that free Sometimes I wish I was that free still. Me too. To not know. <laughs> what does it feel like to not know? <laughs> right. Live freely without... <laughs> without the knowledge. Without the knowledge. In this age, at this season, that's what I'm saying. I, I was like, it must be ironic. It must be, but he really did not look like it was ironic. Did you sell Ahego clothes at your anime shop? Someone asks. No. Um, I would see it once in a while, but we did have this regular. Uh oh. I uh, lovingly nicknamed him Hentai Dave. Oh, um, Hentai Dave. Because he was this regular that would show up at, like, one, at least once a week. Uh huh. Would pre order. The raunchiest oh. manga for sale in the United States. Like, <laughs> like you know, like the stuff where it's like, you know, like, oh, you like me, not my daughter? Or oh, like, oh, oh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. Or like, you know, the stuff where it's like, you know, the cover is just like naked chicks with like huge titties. Yeah, yeah. And stuff like the raunchiest stuff. He would have us like, he would have us pre order every single thing. Um, in wow. advance and he would come in and just like drop like several hundred bucks on these wow um, and he was such a pain in the ass <laughs> oh like, no but, he wasn't like, even he nice was only, you know he was nice but it was just a pain in the ass because he would have so many pre-orders oh i see i see so it would just be like you know he would call and have like all these books and just like uh <laughs> i'm trying to remember what like some of the titles but like uh -huh. you know you know how like manga and like like novel titles are like right they just really get like subtle. crazy yeah <laughs> oh yeah it tells you the entire plot yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's almost like that it's like ah yes you gotta like give it to him and just be like enjoy uh and then read the entire title out for him <laughs> i hope you enjoy you know sleeping Sleeping in the same bed as I don't know my my mom's <laughs> sister's cousin seven times in a row. I don't know. <laughs> I really was what it was like. Yeah. Reincarnated as my mom's left nipple. Like enjoy. God, I'm trying. I'm trying so hard to remember some of the freaking names. 
Um, don't, don't. But it was like, one of them was like, I would read the synopsis on the back, and it would be like, so and so is stuck having a sex contest to <laughs> win a million dollars or something like that. Will she be able to make it? Oh my god, that's Stupid. so funny. <laughs> Stuff like that. <laughs> I ended up not going, but like we, there was gonna be this white elephant event last year that I was um, supposed to go to, and I was planning on bringing Dick Bite Island to yeah! as my white oh elephant. My <laughs> <laughs> like that's like that's the a best, one. yeah. Like gag, like this is, <laughs> is this real? Like when you look at the cover and you read the synopsis and you look at the character designs, like every step of it, you're just constantly asking, like, <laughs> is this real? Like, is this really happening? I remember someone walked in once and they were like, what's the raunchiest yaoi you have? And I, I'm not really a yaoi person. Like, I, I, like I've read more, way more yuri than I have yaoi stuff. Mm -mm. So I go to my coworker who was like way more into yaoi and I was like, um, this guy wants the raunchiest, nastiest yaoi we got. Yeah. And she was like, I know it just what. I know, I exactly know just what. the thing. <laughs> And yeah, she rolls up with with Dick, Dick Fight Island. Yes, Dick Fight <laughs> Island. She knew. <laughs> Dick Fight Island is just it's so it's just so funny. You know the other day I went to um this <laughs> I went to an anime store with uh, a friend and her friend uh, who I had just met. <laughs> We were in this section and it was like the new carnival section. And he mm -hmm. goes, he was like, what is this? What is this anime? And I was like, oh, are you sure you want to know? And he was like, oh yeah, like tell me, like what is it? And I was like, okay, so the, the main character, he he's a he's like a dildo designer, right? And the guy's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, he's a dildo designer. And then, and then one day he gets this special, uh, emerald that this guy wants him to put in a dildo and then he starts doing it but then while he's like designing when, after he finishes designing this dildo it isekais him into this world <laughs> where, <laughs> where all of these men are extremely <laughs> horny for him <laughs> that's the that's <laughs> and he was just like aha uh -huh. <laughs> Go on. Be wonderful. Yeah, I was like, yeah, that's that's what it is. <laughs> Anime is a beautiful thing. What a synopsis! <laughs> the forbidden <laughs> infinity. Call Wait, you lost me. What is this? This is new carnival. It's a game. It's a BL game. Actually, one of the most like popular games right now. Like, period, which is insane. Oh, makes sense now? Yeah. Actually, I saw it. ELA. Mm hmm. A dramatical murder cosplay in the Whoa. year 2024. In 2024? <laughs> <laughs> in, the, in the year of our Lord 2024? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? I was surprised. Yeah, I would be too. So that's crazy. That's actually. I never read it, but it's like if you were on Tumblr at all, you know. Yeah, uh, it's a it's a game. You, you should you it. should you should play it. It's it's actually <laughs> <laughs> it's actually really funny as well. I mean, I'm sorry to hear from everybody that played it. Huh? I'm sorry to hear from people that played it. Yeah, it's a uh, it it really you you do frick the dog for example like that's like a real thing that. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a thing that happens in, in dramatical <laughs> murder. You you frick the dog. <laughs> Jess is like, what? You, you what? what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, <laughs> dramatical murder. It's really gory though, which is like the only thing that was like really difficult for me about it. Is that it's it's pretty gory. Like there's one where if you get the bad ending, he 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 has sex with your corpse, but he your 
you're decapitated, so like it's just your head, literally. Oh, well, it do be called murder. Yeah, there is a lot of murder in it. And so he he like does it with your decapitated head and huh. yeah. And there's another one where it's like the Yandere ending. So what the guy does is he cuts off all of your limbs, and you're just like a stub. You know, like you have no arms or legs. And yeah, then this goes more hardcore than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a lot. Yeah. It's good though. I recommend. It's a fun time. So you're telling me all these kids on Tumblr? <laughs> See, the thing is, I don't know if these kids <laughs> knew what they were watching. I genuinely don't know if they knew. Like, they might have just been like, oh, this is like the cool thing that people are into. But like, they didn't actually like play the game, you know? They didn't mm. know what what it was. It's like, uh, have you ever heard of Sweet Pool? That's like another game from the same company. I don't think so. By the way, chat, if you guys are not, uh, if you guys are not aware, or if you're new, uh, Dramatical Murder was made by the company that made Super Sonico. So, like, it's, you know, it's all in the same vein, if that makes sense, of things. Uh, Sweet Pool was also made by Nitro Chiral, who is the same company. And Sweet Pool is basically, like, Omegaverse, except, like, <laughs> he has, like, flesh baby, uh, things. And he like when he gets on his period, basically, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> like he gets like like kind of like Mpreg, but like he has just like a bunch of, it's just like a bunch of these like weird pulsating flesh blobs in his room, and it's pretty nasty. That was probably one of the most like nasty huh. ones that I've seen. Nitro Troll, man. They 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 go crazy. A lot of their series are pretty gruesome. Reno, thank you for the gifted. I'm sorry for anyone who's new who does not want that gift. I've <laughs> there are people here who are like, get me out of here! Let me put that back. <laughs> like, let me, yeah, let's give you get a refund. I didn't pay for it, but can I get a refund? <laughs> Yeah. I was too impatient for visual novels. Mmm. Teen. Yeah, that's fair. My my roommate, she's like that too. She can't. She can't do visual novels because it requires too much reading. Yeah, I was too dumb for that. <laughs> <laughs> my roommate's like, no one has time for that. <laughs> <laughs> I read. I think I just read one, like human mutacity or drug that makes you dream. Oh. I yeah. heard that one's really intense too. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that one's one of the crazy uh, ones too. And that's really, I guess Valhalla counts, I guess. That was recent. Valhalla? Yeah, I would say Valhalla counts. It's not like your classic. Not a typical, yeah. Yeah, definition of a, of a visual novel, but. And that might be the only one. And started I, I mean, Katawa Shoujo and I didn't get very far. <laughs> oh, Katawa Shoujo is so good. I actually have the art book for that. Blah. It's, uh, I really enjoyed it. Although I, I think for a visual novel, it's a little bit more like on the short side. So it's a little more light, I would say. Yeah, it's a lot of... Like, there's a lot of visual novels that are, like, too long, and I don't have patience for it. No, I got, I get you. D did you ever play, um, Doki Doki Literature Club? Nah. You should play that. That's a good stream one. Highly recommend playing that one on stream. I know it was really popular. Yeah. But. I would say you should play it on stream. It's, uh, it's, it's, I, I enjoyed it, you know. I really like visual novels, though, so... But I think that's a really good stream game, so... Oh. Hmm. Oh, I tried reading Umineko, too. I oh, like yeah! I five hours into it, and I was like, Man, this shit's too long! 
Yeah, and Uminako's very verbose too. Yeah. Like for for a even for a visual novel, it's like on the more wordy side. I wanted to so bad. Understandable. I wanted to be awesome. cool. <laughs> Meet it with everybody. <laughs> It's fine. It's, you know, different people enjoy different things, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Many visual novels fail for the verbose trap. It's true. I mean, that's what visual novels are, essentially, though, right? Like, they're kind of more. That's what they're for. Yeah. It's like reading a book without reading a book. <laughs> With with some occasional pictures. Choose your own adventure. Yeah, it's basically choose your. Oh, did you ever read choose time. your own adventure books? Oh my god! I, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I used to, I used to write. <laughs> oh, oh, choose your own adventure fanfics. Oh, cute. <laughs> <was a> <laughs> Wait, of of like what though? Like what? What fandom or? It was whatnot. Toho ones. Toho ones. Yay. <laughs> oh my god. I I made like a like a fanfic. It was like like create your own adventure one of uh, of the Scarlet Mansion. Oh, that's so cute. And it was with like Sakuya. Um, it was like totally non-canon, but I didn't care. It was like Sakuya. Yeah, who cares? That's what fans in stuff's the mansion. For. Yeah, 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 and then. Uh, we all had this, like, board that we would post them on. Mm -hmm. And then in the comments, like, you would vote. You know, what you wanted the next thing to be. And, like, the popular vote would win. Mm -hmm. And then you would, like, write based on it. Oh, it was really fun. Interesting. Sounds really cute. I've never, I've never heard of that. It was, like, a little community, but, like, that was our... That was our little thing. It was very fun. Like, some people had, like, OCs. And that does sound really fun. Into it. I've never seen, uh, like those kind of choose your own adventure, like fandom stuff before. Favorite Toho girl? Mono said Pacholi earlier. Yeah. Um, my favorite Toho girl is actually Sanae. Ooh. Mm. I really like uh, the green-haired girls, so. <clears throat> wow, I feel like Toho, there's so many characters. I have so many favorites. I'm like Too not really favorites. caught up with the new girls. It's really cute. Yeah, the new girl, new new girls, like I don't know anything about. Are you doing color? Okay, I will do color. Just a little. It's fun. And also because I want... I think your, your white eyelashes are like the cutest thing ever. Aww. I want them to stand out. Yeah, the white eyelashes are quite fun. Something about the like the basic tools mm -hmm. in Aggies, like magnums like this, like really activate me. It's like oi cocky boards. <laughs> right! <laughs> A long time ago. Man, Tegaki, that was like I lived oh my there. Gosh. It should come back, honestly. I'm surprised it hasn't. You know what I'm actually also surprised it hasn't come back? Like, just, uh, avatar-based... Avatar-based social games, in general. I mean, now we're just- now we're just VTubers. Yeah, true. <laughs> true. <laughs> but, like, like, you know... I'm just surprised that there isn't, like, a Twitter, but with... 
That's true. Right? Like, no one's done, like, a Twitter with Gaia Online stuff on it yet. Which is really surprising to me. I'd be, I'd be all over that. Me too! Well, million dollar idea. Pay us if you use it, chat. <laughs> <laughs> My ass would be spending way too much money. Mm-hmm. And that kind of stuff. For sure. My dirty little secret is that I used to be really into Second Life. Really? <laughs> I spent... That's like the one game in my life where I spent... A lot of money. Really? I, like, Second Life? Like, dress up, yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, like... Like thousands of dollars. <gasps> Oh my god. You didn't do art for Second Life? There wasn't like well, an art community I mean, for that? It's a, I you mean, couldn't... not really, but I oh, kinda- really? I, It was a game that I kinda just played on my own. You couldn't like hustle people uh, and get money and- Okay, I kinda did, right? When I first okay. started, um, when I was too young to like, you know, really have my own money, uh -huh. I would go to these trivia worlds and I found out that like, they were using, uh, these like, answers that you could just find on Google. So we're going to these trivia parties. Oh no, like, I know where this is going. You <laughs> you just you, you just scammed your way through yeah. through so many so many parts of your life, I see. I see where this is going. It's all coming together now. The the mono lore all You're of it. You're too much about me. I'm 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 I'm, I'm understanding. <laughs> I, I I know half the story already now. <laughs> We've become, we've become so close in such a short time. <laughs> you know me too well now. Yeah, I scammed my way through it. Wait, that's so funny. Wait, so what do they give you? You would get, like, in-game money. Oh, wow. And so I would just sit there, and, you know, you I would, Google like... Google all the answers? Yeah, I would just... I found, like, the website where all the answers are on, and I would just copy-paste them, and And then... nobody else was doing this? It was just you? Yeah, just me. What the heck? Uh, and then finally, there was a point where they were like, point. like, hey, how come you know all these answers? And <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I'm just really good at trivia. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> as, as you should say. That was the correct answer, by the way. I think eventually, finally, they kind of caught on and they're like, mm, and that's when I never showed up again. <laughs> yeah, that's when you got banned from showing up to trivia. <laughs> That's so funny. You know what? But you know what? Aside from work that, work like, the system. Yeah, it wasn't really like Gaia though. Like you couldn't really sell your art in that same way. Mm. Uh, what people mostly just did was like this. You just bought. You know, you just cashed. Um, right. So when I finally got like a, like a job. That's what I would just spend all my money on. You couldn't get like a you couldn't get like a second life sugar daddy. <laughs> I tried, but it's like Aww. Second Life was one of those games where I mostly just played on my own because like the way I like to enjoy MMOs and games like that is mm -hmm. like I make a cute little avatar and then mm -hmm. I find a solitary little place mm -hmm. and I like sulk and I like to become part of the landscape. I'm like little I'm a dot hack fan. Oh yeah. Uh, so Hell yeah. <laughs> I, like to, I like to be the, the emo the emo kid, you know, like sitting under the virtual tree. <laughs> yeah. No, I love that. But you can do so, that in Second Life? Yeah, so I would I would like make my make my avatar all cute and like get her cute clothes and everything and then mm -hmm. I would uh, I would like what I got really into was Building worlds and land. Oh, you could and do I, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could like make really nice stuff. Oh. Uh, and I would just like build myself these houses, and I would just sit there. It's like Sims. Basically, yeah. Oh. I didn't know that. And it gets really in depth, and I had so much fun like that. Mhm. Mm but I'm a little ashamed. Uh, how much because <laughs> I spent like I think I played it non-stop for like at least 10 years 
Ten years? <laughs> <laughs> Ten years? And ironically, it's the reason why I got into VTubing. <laughs> I lost my account and I was like, well, what am I going to do with my free time now? <laughs> Well, that's fucking crazy. That's actually that's actually insane. That's so funny. Wait, that's so crazy. Oh my god. It's a little embarrassing to admit because like Second Life is such a bad reputation because it's like you know. You know, weirdly, you say that it has a bad reputation, but all I know it for is like that people made dummy money on that game. Yeah, they did. That's people all I know about it. Saw the second life. Like that's all. Literally, all I know is that people would go on that game and just come out like so rich. Yeah. Because of people like me spending all. Their yeah, because money. of people like you, exactly. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I just I would hear about all these people who like their their like full time job was basically just on Second Life. Yeah. Yeah, did I have to pay rent in Second Life? You had to pay rent in Second Life? Because <laughs> I had I had a house, uh -huh. and to own the land, you had to like rent it off of someone else, and so yeah. Oh <laughs> I would play week. It would pay weekly rent. You paid rent in Second Life. How do you how do you make money in that game besides swindling people and winning trivia? Um, I mean you just cash real money. That's it? Um, there's no like like you know, mini games like Guy Online or something. No, there's there was no mini games. Like it was all just like user created content and you either like made stuff and sold it. Like what could you make um, and sell, for example? You could make like clothes, anything like Oh textures, really? Furniture, it's like scripts. Roblox. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Yeah, 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 like it works kind of the same way. Everything was user created. Whoa, I didn't know it was user created. Yeah. Like, so did you sell stuff like user that you made? Nah. Oh, uh, you just made I, stuff like, for yourself. I like try to learn how to make stuff for myself. It's it's complicated. What like? It was like coding you had to do, like Roblox, where if you wanted to make no, something. No, I mean or? like you could, but for example, like I made myself some socks once because it was mm -hmm. like you could just make textures. But a lot of it was like, you know, 3D sculpting and stuff like that. And I, I didn't see. know how to do any of that stuff. Oh. Wow, that's crazy. I had no idea that that's, that's the kind of place that it was. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's been a lot of fun, though. Yeah, I'll go that's to, all like, that matters. Like concerts and stuff. What? Music festivals. Yeah, dude, that's a whole universe. It's like, so I guess this is, this must be what Metaverse was like kind of aspiring to be, I suppose, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Oh, interesting. I really that. didn't know anything about Second Life besides that it was like an avatar site and that people made lots of money off of it. That's like all I knew yeah. about it. Yeah, the people that made lots of money off of it was, uh, cause it was, I think you could just like buy stuff. Uh, most of the people that made tons of money were like real estate people. Real estate people. Like they would like you know sell land in the game. That's so crazy. It's like you, that's like that's how rich people make money in real life too. Yeah. I guess it's like if you can't have it in real life. I guess you could have it. You can't own a house <laughs> in real life. At least you can own it in Second Life. I don't know. Yeah, basically. That's great. Your friend and I <laughs> rented land once until we got evicted. You can get evicted in Second Life? Yeah, if you don't pay your rent. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Was it stressful? That's This sounds stressful to me. <laughs> A little bit. Yeah, it's like already stressful enough trying to think about paying rent in real life. Like if I have to think about paying that in game too. I mean, at least thankfully, at the time, you know, I was still living with my mom. Mm -hmm. Didn't have to pay rent or anything. Um, Wait, so how did you lose your account? Uh, it's a long story. <laughs> oh, no. I, I have a feeling I know where this is going again. 
why do I why do I why do I have a bad gut feeling that I kind of know where this... with the wrong people <laughs> and I cut my account in a way like like hackers <laughs> something like that <laughs> oh my god you like you like you hung with the like <laughs> like the second life mafia or something <laughs> The second like mafia got to you, <laughs> but in the end, it was it's for the better. <laughs> I mean, it's I guess, better. but yeah. <laughs> it's better. I don't fucking spend my money on that anymore. I guess, but this that's <laughs> second life mafia. <laughs> that's that's actually my dark so guilty funny. secret. <laughs> that's actually crazy and hilarious. I love it. <laughs> I love that. Silver lining, I guess. Yeah. Hey, without that, she would not be here, so. I had a lot of fun making World Cell. So, uh, and now I want to try learning how to make worlds for VR chat. Oh! Wait, so it's like the same thing you were do. So you were doing like 3D stuff then? Kinda. Cause like I was making 3D stuff, but like in, um, it was kind of more like Sims in Second Life. Oh, like, like they have like a bespoke editor stuff. or something. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, but you would buy stuff that other people made, and then you could like edit it within the game. So I would I spend see. fucking weeks, dude, like putting in every little piece of grass, every little tree, every little flower. And I was really into like making stuff look cluttered and lived in. Oh, uh huh, uh huh. So I would just like decorate everything for hours and hours and hours. Do you like to do that in Animal Crossing as well? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I love doing that stuff. Or like last couple of times I played The Sims, it's like I made a house, I made it look really cute and detailed, and then I like didn't care to play the rest of the game. <laughs> right, right, right. You're not there to play the game. Yeah. Understandable. very happy when for my 3d showcase mm -hmm. um, i got to decorate some of the set myself oh nice uh, that's awesome and i was like this rules I, I sat there for like several hours just like putting all the little trash in place oh my god and, like decorating everything <laughs> it was really fun that is you know, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Despite all this, you know, I'm so happy for you. It feels like feels like it's one of those things where for me too, when I, I feel like when I first became a VTuber, I was like, holy shit, all this random shit that I did in my youth and like just randomly happened to do like throughout my life has become like so such helpful knowledge for me right you know? it comes in handy yeah and i was like oh, oh my god who would have thought these random weird experiences would be like <laughs> so important but it but it is everything matters you know did you play anything weird growing up like that <sighs> i can't say i can top second life I feel like second <laughs> <laughs> Second Life is that's that's a new one. I haven't really heard that. I I mean I've played I've definitely played my fair share of like just like you know MMOs and and such yeah. though you know growing up and um I played a lot of Gaia and I played a lot of Neopets as well. Did all those all those things and I'm trying to think of like if I had any weird games like. I, mean, I played a lot of like porny games when I was little. <laughs> yeah, which I probably shouldn't have been doing, but that's just that's just what happens when you're when you're little. Little kid on the internet, yeah. Yeah, little kids on the internet. Uh, I think that's probably like the weirdest. Yeah, I had I had Demon Bane on DVD, and you could play oh. games on the DVD player back then. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was a thing. But that's just because I'm old. That's not a weird game. It's just old. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Newgrounds games. Do you remember those 
visual novels on Newgrounds where it was mm -hmm. like Asuka Evangelion trying to sell cocaine to you? <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, I do. I do remember. I do remember those, unfortunately. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> there, those were different times. Yeah. So leathered up cat girl being like, "Hey, you dumb slut! You have any drugs?" <laughs> that. Oh my God! Wait. What? What was her name? I was just like thinking about her the other day. I don't. And I remember. tweeted about her. The the red haired girl. The red haired cat girl. I literally tweeted it. Where'd you, where, where, where'd you go? What's her name, Chan? <laughs> Slutty McSlut. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Slutty McSlut. <laughs> that was her actual name. I'm not I'm not even being facetious. That's literally her name. If you don't believe me, you can look it up. Her name was actually Slutty McSlut. Yeah, that was that was that sure was time. <laughs> she had a sister in the sequels? She did? I don't think I've ever played the sequels. I think I only played Neither the original. Did I. That's that's the game we should be playing on stream. <laughs> <laughs> So we'd probably get banned from YouTube like instantly. I'm not going to Google that. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? It's, it's just a, you know, callback. It's history. History, true. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. I remember like a lot of those I was really into a lot of those stickman games. Oh like the tower defense ones and stuff. I played the shit out of those. God, what was what's the old one called? I don't even remember. I remember a really popular one. I never played it though. Hmm. Was it like a stickman one? Hmm. Am I remembering the right thing? Kingdom of Loathing. Did you ever hear about that? that was uh, cool send Kingdom. me a screenshot. Hold on. If it, I if I see it, it, I'll probably remember. But it I didn't remember this existed at all. Oh no, I haven't played this one. I remember people were super into this. It looks fun. Just looking it. at it looks fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, King of everyone, everyone seems to know though. Yeah, I never played it, but I remember it was really popular. Hmm. Was a quirky and funny turn-based RPG. Mm. Any plans on playing the West of Loathing? Is that like the new version of that? I'm looking it up. Yes, it's the next one. Yeah. Is that like like how new is it? Oh, it's like 2017. It's on Steam. Huh. Is it oh, I think the figures? I think the the one that you sent me is from West of Loathing. Oh. Huh, maybe we should play that for the for the for the uh you know. Memories. Oh yeah, I think the one I sent you is from that. Right? It looks like it. so cute together it does we are para para queens oh my god hey how did i press that now i want to play para para paradise that's it 
You gotta... It can't be that hard to fix your PS2. Uh, it. So I did. I did a whole stream where I was fixing it on stream, but the Whoa. issue is that the component that it needed, I bought a replacement, but it's like also not like uh backwards, not backwards compatible, but like region free. So I have mm. to get it in Japan. So I haven't gotten it yet, but um. I'm planning on grabbing the component eventually. I just haven't gotten around to it. You need to be the first person in your waiting room when you, when you stream. <laughs> <laughs> I'll definitely let you know. Also, like, chat, if you guys are, like, not familiar with Mono, she does DJ streams, which I had no idea, which sounds so cool. So definitely want to catch that next time you do one of those, too. They're very fun. I wish I could do, like, a Eurobeat only DJ set. That would be Man, insane. YouTube hates fun. Yeah, sounds about right. YouTube does hate fun. It's very fun though. The last, like, the two times I've done DJ streams, they've gotten mm -hmm. shut down by YouTube, like, at least four times while they're live. While they're live? <laughs> yeah. No way. We just have to sit there and wait, because it'll be like, stream has been suspended due to policy violations. Really? And I just have to sit there for, like, five minutes and change the song <laughs> until it goes away. What the heck? I didn't know it was like a in the middle of your stream thing. Yeah, sometimes like the AI stuff picks it up. Uh huh. <laughs> That's crazy. I heard that. I heard the YouTube AI stuff has gotten a lot more difficult to get around now. Yeah, it's really strict. Yeah. Why is the color looking like this? What's going on here? I love Eurobeat, so. So good. I would be in a car listening to Eurobeat. Driving fast. Yeah! <laughs> Like such a fucking weeb mm -hmm. recording my cover, like doing the. So there's a part in my cover video where it's like a little toy car, mm. um, on the road, mm -hmm. and <laughs> me grown ass woman mm -hmm. on the street with a little toy car running around. <laughs> did you record an actual toy car? Yeah, I did. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> Wait, I love I got... that though. <laughs> I got like a model of the the, the 86. Oh my and god. And <laughs> I went down the street that uh -huh. like kind of looked, you know, it was like a like a street that kind of like had a curve, you know, it had some like plants on the side of it. I was like, mm -hmm. all right, this kind of passes for like a mountain pass kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> made a little paper mono and I stuck it in the seat. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and I, I took a bunch of shots. Uh -huh. <laughs> like going down the street and then people were it was like in broad daylight so people were watching me film it that's amazing <laughs> that's actually wait i don't remember seeing that i'm gonna have to watch the cover again but i think i mostly listened to it i didn't like see it so it's the version it's the part where deja vu comes in oh deja vu is such a good song and so this uh, it's like the mashup right it's just like, yeah deja vu comes in and it's just like a toy car <laughs> that's amazing and at the end i just throw it into a bush so everyone, if you have not seen Mono's <laughs> cover, now you have all the reason to go check it out because it sounds freaking incredible. I was so embarrassed. I was filming it and mm -hmm. uh, as I was about to be done filming it, mm -hmm. I was like paying attention to make sure like no cars came up because I was going to die of embarrassment if like car came up and i was like with my little toy car in the middle of the road yeah and sure enough that of happened course, you know course. my little car yeah. is in the middle of the road yeah. and car pulls up and they had to stop and wait for me to get my toy car <laughs> in the middle of the road and I'm an adult <laughs> woman. She was like, oh. no 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 they were probably like oh that's so cool i wonder what she's doing i wish i was doing that instead of whatever boring ass thing that i'm doing in my life you know <laughs> I went home immediately. I was like bright red. Aww. 
No. <laughs> worth it though. Hundred percent worth it. Give us a background and I will draw some extra stuff. Yeah. And then I think I will go get dinner. <laughs> yeah, you should go get dinner. <laughs> I forgot you hadn't eaten. I had we were like talking earlier and shrimp she, chips. she was like, I was like, how late do you eat? <laughs> it's whenever, you know? I get you. I honestly have uh, no right to say anything. But I think it's usually just worse if I'm the one saying it because I have <laughs> bad habits as well. So if I'm surprised, you know it's bad, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, you haven't eaten. She has not eaten. I'm very glad you understand me so well. Yeah. You're just hanging out for one cool <laughs> I feel like I know everything about you now. <laughs> oh my gosh! Well, I'm just so happy because like, I didn't realize we had like such similar like upbringings and stuff like that. That makes yeah, me so happy. For sure. No, I was like, you know, I had been watching a couple of your streams and so I was like really excited for today because I was like, oh, there's like so much we could talk about. Like yeah. Toho especially, I was like, yeah, I really haven't met a lot of people that also just genuinely enjoyed Toho. Um, that are girls. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's so cute and fun. Yeah, like, I, I, I like sucked at the games, don't get me wrong. It was like, yeah, I really too. loved the characters a lot. And I loved all of like the stuff around it, like the music and the yeah. lore and all of that. And yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, the music so what I was the most me. into. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm glad I could be your first. Yeah. Blah. My prophetic dream. <laughs> your prophetic dream. That's crazy that you dreamt about this. It's <laughs> actually insane. That's <laughs> probably the second most insane thing besides you playing <laughs> half, second life for 10 years of your life. Like, that's probably the most insane thing I've heard, but you know. <laughs> How did you start to start talking in Plank with Clamp? I don't remember. It's been a long time coming. I've been really bad at responding to messages and stuff, so it's been uh, not good. I've had a lot of people that I've kind of not responded to and stuff. I think. I'm really bad at that too. Did Did you respond to my tweet? Because I had like a tweet at one point where I was like, "If anyone wants to collab, respond to this tweet." No, I think what happened is you were doing a vertical karaoke stream. Oh, and I that's right. In and I was listening. You were like modding like, for you, me. <laughs> yeah, and you wrenched me. You know the VTuber thing where you yeah. you, you mod the other VTubers. Yeah. And I could tell that your chat, you know, you were getting the vertical stream chat, and I was yeah. like, "All right." I'm gonna take it upon myself to clean house a little bit. Yeah. You were like, you were, and none of my mods were there. You were like heavy modding for me. And then so I messaged you afterwards and I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for helping me. Like, sorry that you had to see that. You know, I really appreciate it. And then we started talking. That's what happened. Yeah, yeah you're absolutely right. <laughs> Think of the fucking vertical streams. The vertical streams, man. <laughs> chats are the chats get a little wild. <laughs> they, they go a little crazy there. Thank you for the work, money. Yeah. Exhausting. I felt bad because I think it, it was one of those things where like sometimes you go into these uh, other other VTubers streams and stuff and. Mm. You don't know like the boundaries, right? Like you're like kind yeah. of like, oh, I want to help, but like some people are more comfortable with certain things than other people, right? Yeah, for sure. And so like, you know, you might be like, oh, that's horrible. I would never allow that in my stream. But somebody else might be like, that's totally fine in my stream, you know? So it's always like pretty risky to do that. So I think when it was happening, I was like, thank you so much, like, you know. <laughs> and just to make sure that I that she knew that I appreciated what she did because it's a it's a dangerous boundary to cross sometimes. Okay, but what surprised me is your ability to like send me a fully written out DM 
while you were still singing. <laughs> <laughs> like, at no point, because I was still watching you when I got the hand from you. And you were still singing. Like, you were just going like nothing. <laughs> I was doing that. I was I was singing while typing. I thought I was actually. <laughs> I didn't know you noticed that. <laughs> and I was like, wait a minute. At no moment, at no moment in this stream has she stopped to type. She's still like straight up in the middle of song. And I just got a DM from her. <laughs> <laughs> there, there are not too many songs I can do that with, but I, it must have been a song that I was able to do that with. But I do remember that as well. But it was really, I, I really wanted to like tell you as soon as possible because I tend to do the thing where like if I'm streaming stuff, I'll just completely forget afterwards, you know? Yeah. So I was like, no, I have to, I have to tell Mono like right now while I still remember. So I'm just like going like fucking like typing as I'm singing. <laughs> I remember being so like impressed. I was like, huh? <laughs> like, I almost wondered, like, is her stream recorded? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Nah, no, I, uh, yeah, I do remember that. That was a real, that was a real thing that happened. <laughs> it's also because, like, Sometimes, like, I don't like to do that, like, in the middle of, like, talking or in the middle of singing. Like, if you have, like, a verse where you stop and then you type it. Because sometimes then I miss the entry. So, yeah. <laughs> so if I know the song well enough, I usually can do it while I'm singing. And people yeah. usually can't, they can't tell because, like, the song is going on. So they can't hear my typing either. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't tell at all. <laughs> That's so funny. I didn't know you knew. I didn't know you were still watching. <laughs> yeah, I was still watching and I got the DM. Like, oh, no, there's no way. That's so funny. That's like actually kind of embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this came out so cute, though. It is. I'm trying what? to think what else to add. What song are we dancing to? Is it, is it Night, Night of Fire? Fire? Right? Yes, yeah. it has to be Night of Fire. Yeah, it's true. We're wearing the Night of Fire outfits. And I drew you doing one of the moves. Mm-hmm. So cute. I love the way you draw hands, by the way. Like, I just love the, like, plumpness of them. I think it's so <laughs> cute. You draw them very plump. It's, like, really cute. It, it, it has that, <laughs> the precious moments. <laughs> the precious oh moments God. vibes. I see it. I can draw really precious moments stuff. Like, really? I tried to, like, I tried to make it, like, more, more, like, full-on proportions. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I'll draw stuff where like it's a little like face like this and it'll just look like, like this or something. Mm -hmm. And it's like super rounded. Oh, but that's, that's the like anime. It's cute. I can kind of see bit. it though. I do see it a little bit. Little, little precious moments. Oh, in the so cute. I love it. <laughs> love the precious mo It was so funny because I actually had just seen a bunch of like precious moments like TikToks recently. TikToks? Yeah, because there's like the... Have you seen the precious moments like... It's not a museum, but it's like a chapel? Yeah! Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of TikToks. My friend lives chapel. right next door to it. Oh, no way! Yeah, yeah! Oh, it looks so cool. Have you gone? No, I've never been because it's in the mm. freaking middle of nowhere. Right, I remember it it's being in the like Midwest, in the middle, in the middle of, nowhere. of nowhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you definitely, you definitely should check it out one day, though. I don't want to. Yeah. Are Zoomers finding precious moments? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, they TikTok. better not be. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're cheap. Honestly, like collecting precious moments, like unless you get into the really rare ones, like oh. it's pretty cheap. 
Where can you buy precious moments now? Is it like I go to antique hands? markets? Oh. Yeah, I just go to like antique shows, antique markets, like antique stores. But that's like my big hobby outside mm. of like YouTubing and DJing is like going to antique stuff and collecting oh my God, antiques. I, lo I love that. Me and my sister, that's like our hobby that we've had since we're younger. That's um, cute. I like to go like thrift shopping with my sister too. So yeah, yeah. that's fun too. Oh my god, I went thrift shopping this weekend and I found three Oran High School Host Club t-shirts. Eh? <laughs> One of them was a crop top. <laughs> Did you get them a... though? <laughs> no, I didn't get them. And then a Sasuke crop top. Uh, like two Kuroshi Tsuji shirts. <laughs> Some weeb just like dumped her entire like collection in there. There was a ton of stuff. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh yeah, I found jeans with uh, it was like Lisa Simpson with a halo, and like bloodshot red eyes on one pocket, hand painted, and on the other pocket, a bottle of Modelo with a lime. It then... kind of feels like you should have gotten that one. Those sound like you should have. <laughs> that one sounds like a missed opportunity if you didn't pick that one up. That one sounds like it was like a insta buy, honestly. <laughs> The Modelo especially speaks to you on a personal <laughs> level. <laughs> I would I would buy those and then I would wear them with the Roblox tank top. top. There you go. Or the or the Orin High School Host Club crop top. You got yourself a full a full outfit. <laughs> it was so good. There was so much insane stuff. What? That sounds awesome. I want to go thrift store shopping in your area. It sounds so fun. <laughs> it was very fun. Yeah. And then. Uh... No, I usually go to like antique markets with my sister. My sister used to be into collecting cameras, like old oh. cameras, and then she collected too many. And now she collects like taxidermy and bones <laughs> and funeral stuff. My sister has a real ass human skull in her house. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That's actually I'll have insane. to show you at some point. Next time I go over to her house, she has a big buffalo head in her living room, like a taxidermy buffalo head. <laughs> she has like 10 pieces of taxidermy in her living room. It's terrifying. That sounds terrifying. Have, wait, have you seen that? Like, have you seen that show, like a taxidermy show? I forget what it's called. It was like, it's like a real, not a reality show, but like a, one of those, like, I don't know what they call it in English, but in Korean, we call them like a survival program where it's like, like oh. America's Next Top Model, where like you know, mm -hmm. it starts with like ten people and then it ends with one person. Yeah. There's like a taxidermy one. Have you seen that one? Oh, uh, I don't think so. Oh my god, you and your sister should watch that one. That one's actually she really probably fun. Probably has seen it. Probably. <laughs> or have you seen those like janky taxidermies? Yeah. I she love has them. one. <laughs> I wouldn't want them. They they terrify me, but I think they're really they're hilarious. I got really drunk at her house once, dog sitting, and I could have sworn those things were talking to me. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> like, her and her husband went off to some trip, and I had to dog sit and stay there overnight. And they had a bunch of beers in the fridge, so I was like, whatever, I got nothing else to do. <laughs> but sitting That's on my phone. freaking scary. <laughs> Honestly, I don't... Oh my god. <laughs> taxidermy? I don't think I could sleep in a room of taxidermy animals. On the other hand, I just like to collect, like, vintage toys. Yeah, like, that's awesome. 80s, 90s toys. Oh, hell toys, yeah. Stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not as scary. <laughs> not as, definitely not as scary. <laughs> I think the closest thing that I've had that was kind of scary was, like, my great aunt um, is Japanese, and she would give me those, like, dolls, those very traditional Japanese dolls. Oh, with, like, like the... Is it Sorry, like go the for clothed it. ones or the wooden ones? The clothed ones. Mm -hmm. Like like my dress up darling, like oh, those yeah, type of dolls. Yeah. They were huge. Like I had oh, one that was ugly. like a foot tall and she had like human hair on her head. Yeah. And like you know, those it was are like the ones a... they write horror games about. Yeah, <laughs> but but I would have that in my room. I had that in my room like in my entire high school throughout all of high school because my great aunt had give, given it to me as a gift. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, um, uh, heritage. <laughs> like, I don't, like, I can't, like, get rid of it, you know? So <laughs> that was in my room. That was probably, like, the closest thing that was, like, kind of, like, terrifying that 
would just be in my room. Mm. Wow. I mean, it sounds kind of cool, but yeah, I'd be scared of that, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go let you eat. You okay. Anything? Go eat. Thank you so much again for the collab. I had a lot oh, of thank fun. Thank you so much. I did, too. Yeah. You're so easy to talk to. Yeah, it was really nice talking to you, too, because we have so much in common. <laughs> Yeah, we should I would definitely love to collab again. Yes, I was just about to say we should definitely collab <laughs> again next time on your <laughs> channel too. So mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yeah, thank you again. <laughs> yeah, another day on date number two. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next time we could draw to. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Fun. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I haven't drawn in a while, so uh, it was nice to kind of get my drawing chops back up a little bit. Yeah, I hope you had fun. Yeah. It was fun. It was a good time. Very chill. I cheated because I was drawing all day before the collab. Oh, really? <laughs> so you got, you got your warm up stuff. in. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty then. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Thank you, Tabin Monos, for stopping by. Thank and you. Palkaries, you see Monos links in the title and also in the description. Be sure to go give her some love, give her a follow, give her a subscribe, go check out her streams, check out the Eurobeat cover. It's actually insane. <laughs> so take a look at it. And uh, yeah, well, hopefully we'll see you guys all soon. Holy Yay. Otsu. Otsukuri! Otsukuri and <laughs> bye bye! Bye bye!